Got it. Are we live? Yes. Hey. Why do you think live? I pointed to the screen, you scrub? Jesus Christ, we've only been doing this for three months now. I mean, fair enough. Good Lord. This is how you can really tell this isn't a professional fine. job. Has it really been three months? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Our, our first show, well, for the TTW, no. But our first stream we did was yeah. uh, uh, just a little over three months ago, and it was the one test stream you guys wanted me to run. Oh, that's right, yeah. All right, well, welcome, everyone, to tonight's TTW, where tonight we have the Boss Fight pay-per-view. And joining me today on the commentating table, we have Nick. Hi. We got Ian. We got Kyle. No, you. We got Kim. Hi. And we got Jed. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, Jed. Allegedly, Jed. We're not really sure it could be someone using a voice. He never uses his camera, so we're never sure. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> That's Jesus. it. Stream's over. Um, I'm Stream's shutting her down. <laughs> That's enough of that there. Earlier when you were saying, you know, about making the bad jokes and saying you weren't going to do it, it's like both of you to assume we weren't going to make the bad jokes. And that's fair enough. Oh, man. Ian, five points for the first bad joke. Yes! Minus 50 points from Gryffindor. Well, that's fine. Ravenclaw's up. Ugh. I know. All I just right. hate Gryffindor. From all houses. I hate you all. <laughs> okay. Let's we're expel- all houses, we're expelling the headmaster. Up. I was going to say, why do we got to be hating on the Hufflepuff here? So no one invited you. I mean, that's fair. All right. So, boss fight is our equivalent of Hell in a Cell for anyone who actually knows real WWE. So... Be prepared for cage matches. Yeah. Lots of cage matches. Yeah. Uh, here we go. By the way, did you ever do the thing, the thing where you added cities? Yes, I did do that. Finally. In Richmond. Yes. Tonight we are live from Richmond, Virginia. Just hey, outside of my backyard. Just outside of your backyard, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh my. Yep. Hey, 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 it's like a it's not a long drive from Baltimore to Richmond. That's yeah. true. It's really not. So we got a very fun and very stacked card for you guys tonight. Starting us off, we have a one-on-one Hell in a Cell match between Ashley and Jamie. Rivals since Ashley took the belt from Jamie, and now they just want to beat the hell out of each other inside of a steel cage. Then we have the first title defense of the night between Mrs. Profiter and Winter, who have been going at it backstage and throughout matches. Hopefully phrasing. Winter's, uh, yeah, she's phrasing, exactly. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I, I was going to say, I didn't know if he was doing phrasing anymore. Hopefully Winter's injuries do not affect this match. But we have seen Mrs. Profiter pull a couple of dirty tactics. Yeah. to uh, get victory. So we're going to see how that goes. Then we have a battle of the crisps between Rye and Chips. You say that one more time and I am going to Winnebago just to slap you. <laughs> I'll join you in that endeavor. You guys can carpool. Make sure to do it in front of the camera so we can all enjoy it. Hell yeah. yes. <laughs> then we got a rivalry match Friends turned against each other, trying to kill each other, pretty much, at this point. Jason versus Elliot. Then, we have our second title defense. Between Hermit Bob, Fat Grand, or Grand Fat Wizard, and Cameron, current holder of the Golden Dragon Championship. I wonder As... if we're going to see another double bowdown on Bob's part. Who knows? Choo-choo! Because that was funny. Bob comes for the shiniest. Then we have... Sell it for cocaine money. Yes. Then we have, tonight, 
we will be crowning the very first tag team champions. And in this, we will have an eight-man four-way tag ladder match. This is going to be insane. Not only yes. is it going to be insane, I assume this match is going to take an eternity. This is probably going to be the longest match on the card sans the uh, main event. But our teams in this match, we have a new team and possibly a new wrestler showing up. We have uh, Warhammer 40K, which are the two gentlemen on the left. Nightmare Fuel, a classic. The KNH, another classic. And teaming for the first time since they became friends, Chris and Valcross, aka Team Spoiler. Let uh, me tell you, folks, I came with the butter sock. Oh, <laughs> Not again. I thought we were going to call it Team Boo Bear, Boo Bear and Boo or something. I don't know. I mean, I could call it Team uh, Bear Mace, but I don't know. But we could think Bear of a better name Mace. later. Oh, my God. <laughs> team we'll Butter Sock. We'll call it Team Name later. <laughs> team butter Sock. God damn it. And then finally, for the main event, it has all been leading up to this. Nick's first title defense in a long time, actually. And yeah. it is a five-man L in a Cell match oh. between Nick, our current, and our current and defending. Current and defending. We ain't figured it out yet, champion. Because the and belts defending were against. split. Yes, uh, due to matches and the roster getting bigger, we had to split the uh, TTW We ain't figured it out yet championship belt into two separate belts. So now there's a We ain't figured it out yet champion. And a TTW championship. I'm but still the face of this company. You are. Currently, we'll see where it goes. But we have Nick defending against Jolal, Russ, Nirtan, and Claude, his rival. I'm I'm most worried about defending against my own dad here, actually. I'm not going to lie. Really? Out of everyone in that, you think Russ is going to be the trouble? I have flattened Claude. I have flattened Nirtan. <laughs> Joel really lost to you because you were as a tag match. Okay, but I still flattened two out of five opponents, beat the third. And, or two uh, out of four and, opponents. And the fourth one is your father. Yeah, that's I'm also just one. going to reference the fact that uh, in that Battle Royal match, Jalal made it real easy for you because he eliminated three of your, or two out of the three of your opponents besides him. Work and smarter. And then got eliminated by Stumbly Miles. Oh, that's right. They were in that uh, battle royale last week as well. Yes. Work smarter, not harder. Dylan, don't right. turn the entrances back on. You got them off. Ooh, hey, yeah. How'd that happen? That's an important side note. Good thing I looked, huh? Thanks. I actually, do do the tag teams have their own specific entrances? Yes. Each tag okay. team has an entrance. I have actually worked on that. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I was yeah. going to say you might want to turn those off, but hey, it works. It's fine. Let's go. Let's do all right. We let's begin let's, boss fights. Let's do this. All right. So starting off with the first rivalry match of the night. Uh, predictions going around the table. We'll start with Nick. Who do you think is going to win this match? Jamie. Jamie. All right. Going to Ian next. Who do you think? It's going to be Jamie. Ashley has not had it the last couple of weeks. Kyle. Jamie. Jed. I mean, not to say I'm running with the theme here, but when Jamie gets rolling, she is she's something. All right. And finally, Kim, who do you think's going to win? I say Jamie. All right. Unanimous so we, judge no decision. Jamie. Unanimous Jamie. Last time we were unanimous, that person lost. Just gonna remind everyone. I was gonna say, true. you think we're gonna have another underdog week this week? Possibly, who knows? If that's the case. The contest, I was really hoping she was gonna get ambushed back. walking out here. Making her way to the ring from Oak Park, Illinois, the innovator, Ashley. Uh, I'm not just saying that because I like heel moves like that, but just because it's been happening so frequently in the women's division that it's yeah, like, do thought? any of you enjoy actually fighting? Or is it all, I'm going to ambush my opponent? 
Ambush cat fights, man. The entire women's division, basically. It's insane. Oh my. I thought the Please. sign behind her said, behind her head at first said, "Please try this at home," and I was like, "Dylan, that's not the message we were trying to send, was it?" It really isn't. And again, we say we should say this every single week, but please, for the love of God, do not try these at home. Yeah, please, unless you're a professional wrestler if or a backyard do. wrestler, which whatever. Yeah, but if you do. Be sure to record it. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Make sure to record it and tag us when you post the video. <laughs> Maybe we don't go that far because then we might be held liable. That's true. <laughs> fair, fair, but also could be c good content. I personally would love to see some of us even attempt to try to do some of our wrestling moves on each other. That's why I picked only moves I know I could actually do. Ah, uh, yes, Nick, because you could do a full backflip from a Russian leg sweep into that fabulous pose. Uh, I Once. can do something similar to it, actually, <laughs> yes. All right, there's the bell. The cage is lowered, and Jimmy starting off strong with a backbreaker and an accordion stretch. Ooh. Do you, do you think we're going to end up breaking the, the nice graphic there? Not sure. How is it looking on your end? No, I meant... <sighs> the hell in a cell graphic. The hell in a cell graphic on the on the on the uh yes oh. on the ring. We should be fine. Not if my Jamie keeps doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so my match isn't for a while. It's safe for a good bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say, most of our wrestlers on the roster do have the opportunity to bust down the uh, the uh, chain link as well. Ooh. Oh, it looks like the momentum shifting to help Ashley now, just kicking and stomping away at Jamie. Oh, but Jamie catches Ashley and hits her with a clothesline. Now just stomping away at her. Yeah, was not a fan of getting stomped on. Now she's stomping on Ashley. Oh! Big job. Echoing. Big job. Uh oh, looks like Jamie's setting up. Powerbomb! Classic. Dead center of the ring. There's a lot of bounce there. Oh, and there goes Ashley's head again. Yeah. It's not a coconut, sis. You only have to try and crack it open. And then another rolling senton. Could have fooled me. It looks like coconut. Ooh. Oh, there's a slam. And a leg drop. Ooh. That's <laughs> got to hurt. The throat. Oh, actually now, fighting back with a nice uppercut. Oh, into a backbreaker of her own. Ouch. Ooh, Jamie, though, taking Ashley down to the mat. Going for some solid kicks to the back. Yep. Oh, Jamie might be going for the first cover. Kick out at one. Little early for a cover. Little early. Ooh. Back, hit, uh, back elbow there by Ashley, followed up by a fireman's carry by Jamie. Because that worked so well. It whipped into the corner. Ooh! Back elbow. Oh, actually now setting up. Ooh! Pump handle gut check. Ouch. Ashley going for a little bit of style on this one. You can tell who the veterans on the roster are because they know they have to wait until they put their opponent down before they can showboat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jamie now setting Ashley up in the corner. And not capitalizing very well. Trying to. There we go. Oh! Booty bump. Booty bump in the corner into a hair toss. Another whip into the corner. Oh, there goes another hair toss right across the ring. Oh, Jamie. Oh, sidewalk slam. Goes for another pin. Kick out at two by Ashley. No real big moves yet. Not yet. 
Oh, here comes another leg drop. Oh, What's Jamie this? hits the ref. Hit the ref. Knocked the wind out of him. Oops. Oh, Jamie went to uh, oh. get Ashley in the corner. Now Ashley got her in the corner. Setting up. Oh, into the tree of woe. Oh, now just choking her out with her foot. Ashley now go for that disrespectful step. Yep. Super disrespectful. Kick out of two by Jamie. Still no big moves used yet. Nope, not yet, but we're about to oh. see one. Looks like it. Ashley setting up for the punt. Oh, but missed the punt. That Jamie missed with the follow-up. Butterfly gut check by Ashley. Jamie Ooh. says, Not today. Not today. Yep. Oh, miss with a grab. Oh, code breaker by Ashley. Jamie is down. And once again, Ashley just gonna step over Jamie. Oh, J Jamie dumped to the apron. And now tossed right back inside by Ashley. Oh, Ashley looking a little winded, though. Regular one. Oh. oh, super kick across the head. Man, I walk away for like 30 seconds and it's, uh... And that's over. Wow. Wow. We were wrong Ashley. again. Yeah. We got, you guys gotta stop being unanimous. You were involved in that too. I didn't vote for anyone. I was impartial. Bullshit. Bullshit. I voted for Jamie too. I was gonna say that sounds like a lie. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Ashley's oh, a Ashley's a done. Uh, going through the ring of physics. Yes. Oh! Bouncing Jamie off the apron. Again. Where's security? Don't worry about the invisible cage. It's definitely not a hologram. Yeah, right? definitely not a hologram. It's one hundred percent real. The storylines here are only real. Sure. Invisi yeah. cage is a thing. NASA's it's, been working very hard. hard on it. I was gonna say it's hard light technology. <laughs> All right, so now we have the true women's title belt match between Mrs. Uh, Prof. Dara and Wintar. Yes. So going around the table, we'll start this time with Jed, if he's still here. Who do you think is going to win this one? Do you think Winter's going to retain, retain her title, or do you think Mrs. Prof. is going to take it off of her? This one's really hard Crazy. to call because they both get really, really angry with each other. That is true. Like, the rivalry is very intense. I think the only time Winter hasn't tried to step up was that time she had an injury and she had to have someone step in for her. That is true. So I can't really say. They're they're a good matchup. All right. Then we'll go to Ian next. Who do you think's going to win this? You know, honestly, it, it, I, I'm, I have to agree. It's hard to say. This can go either way. All right. Kyle, do you have a prediction, good sir? I think his prediction is probably violent. Probably. I think Jamie might actually have the upper hand in this. Well, good thing Jamie isn't in You're this not match, Jamie, then. You know what I mean. Uh, I get you. Profiter. Yeah, you think Profiter is going to win this one. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Nick, going to go to you. Who I, do you think? I think it's, it's kind of a 50-50 toss-up here because... Winter has been on a losing streak lately, but at the same time, Mrs. Profter has not been showing up much for her matches. So, she may be out of practice. Winter may be able to capitalize despite all the injuries and massive suck lately. Yeah. And finally, I will take it over to the current Triple Crown champion. Who do you think is going to win, Miss Kim? 
it's hard to say that, like everyone said, they're a really good matchup, but it lately, whenever we get them in the ring together, it can go either way. I don't think I'd be able to make a fair, this one's definitely gonna win. Alright, so, with this match, it's base. It's a perfect coin flip. We actually have no idea who's gonna win this one, but let's get it started and find out. Me, I actually win it. Fair enough. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's International All-Star Championship. Hmm. Doesn't that lady wear any other dress? She's only ever been in that one. We, uh, we don't have the budget for it currently. We really don't. It, uh, all the all the money went to the contracts of the superstars. How much do you think my limo costs? Too much. Yeah. Just enough Not because enough I keep money. having to redo the upholstery after Bob gets into it. I stole the lug nuts. It's not your limo. It's Bob's house with wheels. By the way, I hate to tell you this, buddy, but we have to cut some money from the limo budget. So now the best we could do is a party van. That's it. I quit. No, you can't. You're a, you're a double champion. You can't quit. Hey, wait, wait, wait. This frees up the money. We have to pay him an exorbitant amount. We can get our limos back. Well, here's your choice. We can either we can either give Nick a party van, and everyone else, and uh, we have and um, we have to use, lose the money for the contracts, or we give Nick the limo and we don't get any new contracts. Or or. Like he just said, Nick quits. That means limos for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> limos and you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, but Party Bob's gonna end up crapping in all the limos like he currently does. Well, Bob gets his own limo. He wants his own. Like he won't have. Bob doesn't Bob want his own. Room. Bob wants your limos. No, Bob gets your old limo. All well, right. He's already marked that one. We'll just tell Bob that it's still yours. <laughs> I believe it too. Probably. Or the CIA uh, agent yes, in his teeth uh, going well. That's another. And also, folks, he uh, is the new belt. Yes. All belts uh, were redesigned within the last two weeks. Real yeah. world. Introducing weeks, the challenger from Manhattan, New York, the princess. The princess of. Pain. Introducing the champion from Superior, Wisconsin. She is the women. Whoever back there -star champion, that's holding up the sign the that says I submit to superstars, you need some therapy. <laughs> you Don't tell people how to live their life. This is 2021. I'm not here that. to kink shame, but get Wait, some therapy. Sounds an awful lot like you. Uh, Nick, check the stream. That was weird. What the hell happened? That was weird. That still shows the guy holding his head with the weird camera. Oh, there we go. It's back on now. I'm a few minutes, seconds behind. All right, so sorry about that, folks. Let's get this match back up. Yeah, that was real weird. Apologize for that. That was uh, yeah. a connection issue on Twitch's side, not on mine. Uh, all right, looks like Ashley went for something, but uh, Rince are able to counter into an inverted neck breaker. And a double axe handle the face. Yep. Winter definitely starting this off very ferocious. Ooh, went for a drop kick. Actually countered though, and now getting those heavy hits in. Already you can sh see the welts showing up on Winter's face. Okay, yeah. did everyone just see the marry me I'm single? Yep. Again, yep. therapy. Plus, I'd like to remind everyone that uh, Mr. Provider is already married. And winter is imaginary. <laughs> yeah, that was was before. Yeah, you know because what? if any of you know an actual wolf girl, please tell me. Yes, tell all of us. No, because no, I would you. like to break the story no. to the world and make a lot of money. I would. I not. was gonna say other things. I was gonna I say I, I like the X to doubt face from my wife just now. Yeah. Tell all of us. I'm gonna say hard pass. 
Nice leapfrog roll under into a spinning neckbreaker. Very nice. Goes for the cover. Kick out at one. A little oh. early, but also very a good shot. Good try, good try. Ooh, yeah. face buster on the knee. Oh! Face Proctor now targeting the knees of Winter. Which, just, oh, and a quick stomach stomp. I was going to say, Winter's knees have been shown to be the weakest part of her so far in the last couple weeks. And plus, with her being a high flyer, it's also a really uh, good strategy to try to ground her. Hmm, I just did a phrasing. Yeah, phrasing. you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. I saw the eyebrow raise from my wife. I think she thought I was saying something else. Hmm. All right. You wouldn't possibly uh -oh. Be oh, there's the slaps. Wait, what'd you say, Ian? You wouldn't possibly be untoward oh. about this. Full no. Oh, there's the full Nelson. Is she going to tap? Full Nelson. No, no tap. Winter able to fight out of it. Let me go. No, please let me go. Ooh, nice head please. scissors take down there by Winter. You oh, know what? Good. I know you're playing me, but you're right. Exactly. Went for the headbutt, got an elbow instead. Ooh, spinning heel kick there by Winter. A solid move. Solid move. Another axe handle to the face. Oh, going for the taunt. And going in. Snapmare! Very nice. Looks like the momentum has shifted to Winter's side now. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, Hurricane Rana! From the second rope. Whipped into the corner goes Miss Profiter. Ooh, was gonna go for a move there, but uh, countered into a Russian leg sweep. Ooh, and she hit the ropes on the way down. Youch. They both kinda did. That was very close to the corner. Ow, I Dirty pancake. Dirty pin incoming. Dirty pin incoming. Kick out at one, though. Ooh, solid left there by Winter. That's how you could tell this rivalry is a really, really strong rivalry because they're both willing to pull some dirty moves. Yeah. Nice, solid elbow strike there in the corner, too. Whipped into the corner. Ooh, goes for the knees. But Miss Prop able to fight out of it. Another whip into the corner. Winter's got her again. Ooh, back elbow. Uh oh. Oh no, the torture rack. Torture rack. Someone's gonna oh, tap. Is Winter gonna tap? First the full Nelson, now the torture rack. Who knows? Oh! Forced to break it up. That was a long session on the rack. Yeah. Oh, and Mrs. Proctor setting up. Yep. From behind. Oh, back into the full Nelson. That is a lot of submission moves. Mr. Proctor was the original submission expert, actually, on the women's division until Alyssa switched her move set. Oh, but releases it for some reason. But all the damage is still there. Oh, absolutely. I don't think we're going to be seeing Winter pull any Hurricane Ranos out. Oh, wait a minute. She's Winter, about to try. I risk. <laughs> Avalanche head scissors. Ouch. Could that be the end of it? Oh, Ooh. king out two and a half. Oh, that was close. close. Winter really pissed Hell off. Ref. Yep. Ref was too busy watching the tight bouncing around and paying attention. Oh, hung up on the ropes. He's a man of culture. I think that was an actual stunner on the ropes there. Now both women outside the ring. Nolan is hell match? Where's the key? There's no cell for nope. this one. Right. Only certain matches are hell in a cell. It's, the hell, like, it's the hell in a cell pay-per-view, but only certain matches get a cell. Yeah. It's always there above the... Could the, you uh, girls stop fighting in front of the announcer table? <laughs> I'm fearing for my life right now. Oh, Winter at, on the top rope. Goes for... Oh! And nobody home. Nobody home for the elbow drop. Actually, not... Or, this brother 
Going in. Oh! Oh, it's the bow and arrow. Yep. Oh. Oh, it's still targeting the back. Entirely possible Winter's gonna have another injury at the end of this one. Oh! Yep, possible. It's entirely possible likely. Indeed. Oh, here come the slaps again. Slap chop. Ooh, kick to the stomach goes Winter. Oh, and the clothesline takes down Winter. Trying to crawl to the ropes for some help. There is no help here. Ooh, kick out at two. We almost had a new women's champ. Both ladies are getting tired. Miss Profter setting up again. What's Here she gonna comes. go for? Oh, no. Full Nelson! Full <laughs> Nelson! More Full Nelson! Full Nelson! Or as some people know from WWE history, the Master Lock. Yep. Or the Hurt Lock. Oh, that's it! Winter finally okay. taps! She couldn't handle it. We have a new Ooh. women's champion! Yep. I'd say that was a much deserved win. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of big moves thrown around once these women got rolling. Honestly, yeah. I'm still not upset about not calling it either way. Winter had some really good hits, but she didn't have enough staying power, I guess. Well, with her previous injury history, it makes sense. She probably couldn't have held that long against somebody who uses a lot of submission moves. I was going to say the submissions, I think, are what made the uh, difference here. Well, either way, congratulations to our new champion. Hopefully, yeah. her, hopefully her title reign will be long and fruitful. I will uh, I will offer her a limo. <laughs> Gently used. <laughs> new upholstery. Running the budget. Yeah, wait a minute, Nick. Hold on. New <laughs> upholstery. <laughs> Gently used. You know, I'm Gently taking the, used. the little the mini bar out of your limo. You comes comes with a uh, hey guys. sometimes pet. Uh... We actually have someone in chat saying hi to us right now, guys. Oh, well, hey uh, there. TK the Goat 10. Hi. How you hello, doing? Hello. Hope you're having fun. Yeah. Up hello. next, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the chips fight. Rye and chips. Which See, do you think is better? Rye or regular chips? Rye, of course. Listen, I might be a little biased. That might be my little brother there. I, I prefer I prefer rye chips over regular chips. I'm not gonna lie. It depends on the day. It's weird how I say this. I prefer regular chips in the summer, but I prefer rye chips around like winter time. I don't know why. It's the weirdest shit. Maybe your brain like thinks of like normal potato chips as like cookout food or something. So your brain associates it with summer. We have a history character in the chat as well. This is a stream dedicated to celebrating violence. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so predictions going around the table. We'll have to do a quick one because, yeah. I don't we'll know. Do I'm pretty hilarious. Ian, you're going to have to abstain from this since that is your little brother and we know who you're rooting for. That's fine. Uh, Nick, chips or rye? Who are you thinking? Oh. Uh, Real quick. Yeah, uh, I just... You know, Chips has been performing well in his, uh... What the hell was going on over there? Sorry. Uh, got distracted. Uh, Whirl. Chips has been performing well in most of his matches lately. Uh, Rye I've only seen a couple times, so I can't really judge too fairly on what's going to happen here. But, as we have previously seen, the up-and-comers have been putting the hurt on the veterans lately. So I'm going to have to go with Rye. Alrighty, Kyle. My money is on the Wanderer. Alrighty, Kim. Kim, who do you think is going to win? I can't call it fairly. Chips has been doing really well, but we've only seen Rye like twice. Fair get enough. Up, Rye, get out, guy. Get out there, please. I'm gonna stay on the fence. Yeah, Jed, how about you? I unfortunately wasn't able to see any of Rye's matches. I have no idea what surprises he's got waiting behind that cloak. So mm. fair enough. But here is his entrance. 
Making his way to the ring from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Weighing in at 200. Calls himself pounds. King, doesn't have King. a belt. Not yet, but he is in, he is technically in uh, the, what is it, he's in the divisions for a couple of them. I Stay. believe I put him in for the Golden Dragon, TTW, and your belt, Nick. Oh, yay, now everybody can come steal my belt. Yeah, this sounds like so much fun for me. Nick, you have the main belt of the entire company. Of course, every everyone who can is going to try to get your belt. Sure, we split the belt, and now everybody's wanting my belt. Everyone was wanting your belt before. Yeah. But so it few of them could have it. I was going to say, before, more people wanted your belt than there are now. Because I had to split the division between the two belts. He may be my brother, but that staff might be compensating for something. Indubitably. By the way, it's a long intro. It is. It's yeah, longer yeah. than yours. <laughs> Actually, no. Ian's original was the longest still oh, yeah, on the entire right. roster. This one was a close now, second. Which is now Fat Grand, uh, Grand, Grand Fat Fat Wizards. Uh, That's Funny fact from character creation, when I was actually helping Ryan make his character, when I played this song... He actually recognized it, but not from WWE. He actually knew the bands and was a fan of them. There you go. Really? Yeah. Well, it works right out now. pretty well then. It really did. He really liked it. So I kept that as his intro song, and then we found this uh, walk-in, and we're like, oh, let's stick with the King theme. All right. All right, now here comes everyone's third favorite li favorite. Uh, Household challenged. Residentially challenged. Thank you. Individual. Residentially challenged individual. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll and take the place of chips here. From parts unknown, weighing in at 359 oh pounds. Oh, look, it's a shoeless hobo. J -A -H. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm probably gonna lose this fight. <laughs> oh, Jaren isn't actually in the chat right now because that'd be hilarious. I don't know. Jaren's in the chat every now and again. Yeah. Man, man has no house, has guitar. Well, I mean, you know, it's not always about it's not always about the money per se it's not always about the roof over your head sometimes about the roof in your heart Wait. yeah some, your something is. like that <laughs> home is where your family is sure remember you said Dominic to get him by Jaren so much for get him right at the very get beginning him, Ryan, DDT, Jesus well, it's just like regular potato chips. They start out strong, but leave you unsatisfied in the end. Hmm. Oh, and hmm. Not a fan of hearing that. Jerry now stomping away at Rai's unprotected hand. Ooh, spinning back over by Rai. Ooh. Keeps the momentum back into his favor. Ooh, went for a solid punch there. Countered. Oh, ducked the first clothesline, didn't miss the lick. I haven't the seen liquor. this much shiny leather since Pride Parade. I'm just going to be honest. Oof, front face lock there by Jaren. I think they're fighting over who uses the right uh, to use the face paint. Right there, Nick? What? What? Ooh, oh, dirty laundry. I bet you he's trying to beat him up for the shoes. That, that that person just said tag me in. Listen, yes. ladies and gentlemen, I know you like to think that this is all fake, but if we tag you in, you die. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> to be fair, though, there there have been, what, Kyle, like 10, 15 people who started off as fans and then joined the WWE? Now, yes, planted, what? Or planted developmental wrestlers. Yes. 
Now, wouldn't, right. it, tart. wouldn't it be right. awesome if when we went on uh, August 2nd, wouldn't it be yes. awesome if they picked one of us out uh, of the crowd? That would be hilarious. Pick me. I bet you I can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, from the internet, we ain't figured it out yet. God, could you imagine if we actually did call ahead, like, say, hey, listen, we're a couple of YouTube uh, celebrities trying to set up our channel, and uh, we'd like you guys to... Uh, YouTube celebrity, good. don't oversell yeah. it. That's what we might sell, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we do here in the biz. Oh, Jaren went for a signature spear. Why, though, countered with a DDT. Planted Jaren face first into the center of the ring, and a belly to belly. Sit out, John Buster. A lot of booing, crowd none too happy. Well, most people don't like it when they, uh, when the Royals win. Ooh, another okay. John Buster. Especially when they're beating up on a poor homeless guy. He should wear shoes. And you should get a new limo. Ooh, clothesline there by Jerry sends right to the mat. His current limo. <laughs> get out of my limo. <laughs> No. Just, oh, Ricky! My house with nice. wheels. My wheelie house. Jaren now setting up for another spear. I don't think Ryan knows what's gonna happen. And he connects. That time he got him. Oh, Jaren now going for the first pin of the match. Kick out at two by Rye. Jaren looking a little upset that his uh, maneuver didn't work as intended. Setting up for something. Oh, looks like it's going to be drift away. And it connects. Right, you got to pick this up. I, I won't accept this from a member of my family. And that's it. That wow. Oh. I still maintain that rye chips are better than regular chips. Don't however, at me. In, however... In the sense of TTW, it appears that Jaren, a.k.a. Chips, has taken the victory from Rye. For now. For now. Uh, as with most of these cold matches, it's more to yeah. gauge how, uh, how the health of the Here's two are winner. doing oh, in terms of wrestling career. That is correct, Nick. On to the next match, which I believe is our next rivalry match. Should be Jason and Elliot. Yep. Yes, yes, it is. Elliot versus Jason, friends turned enemies. Kill going King the Hill. Table. Yep, I was gonna say, going around the table, let's try to make this one a little quick. Nick, going with you. Jason. Jason, Kim, to you. Jason. All right, I, let me just say, uh, show of hands, uh, except for Jed. Who's best, <laughs> Jason? <laughs> My money is out of the I'm definitely Lee and Jason. The oh, only says. thing that I'm gonna say is if Comet or if Lieutenant Dick Punch here pulls that off a couple of times. There is a chance he could hit the ref. He could also just try to get a low blow when he's not looking. And we've seen Elliot take the turnbuckle off, so we might use yeah. that as a distraction. Mm -hmm. Ian, you didn't raise your hand. Are you actually voting for Elliot? Listen, I know from experience the effectiveness of the good old Dick Punch. Ah, so you actually are pulling for the heel on this one. I think the heel's got this. I think it's going to be a surprising match, but he's got it. Well, I think uh, you're going to be wrong. But that's I think okay. we don't want you're to entitled be entitled to your opinion. Be matches before, it's and not out of the realm of possibility. Avert your children's eyes. The last thing you want to see is what's coming next. Uh. Making his way to the ring from Buffalo, New York. Weighing in at 313 pounds. Change his social media handle to King Heel. Probably should actually, yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's your brother. No, no. There's Lieutenant Dick I'm Punch sorry. and Commander Cocksucker. No, this is this is King Spoiler. He's not a member of the spoilers. Oh. Actually, he is. You guys are a trio, technically. Elliot's the I reason I understand. He's not a member of the spoilers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Is that a can opener? <laughs> that looked exactly like the can opener I have in the kitchen. 
It might be a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can opener. So. Don't demonetize. <laughs> you gotta open a can of whoop ass. Oh, do you guys hear that in the back of backstage area? I hear the rev of a beautiful engine. I would if this thing I timed that better. Yep. Yeah. If there uh, it is. Vroom, vroom. From Manhattan, New York, weighing in at 300. Tried to convince Jason to sell me his bike. He just laughed at me. Jason. <laughs> he knew that anything you own that has wheels, Herbert Bob tries to destroy. So <laughs> he knew better. <laughs> well, Herbert for- Bob has nowhere to hide on this one. We offered him a lim- limousine, okay. ladies and gentlemen. He slapped that person in the face. But you know, it's like uh, it's like walking outside and finding your limo up on uh, on a bunch of cinder blocks. Can't have shit in this town. Oh man, that was a good skit. That was a good rivalry back in the day. Mm-hmm. JBL versus Chavo Guerrero. Or not Chavo, sorry, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Oh, it's a classic. Classic. There we go. Ding, ding. Oh, oh that was quick. With a shoulder tackle. <laughs> Sends Elliot to the ground. Elliot, though, returns with his own uh, clothesline tackle. And a swift kick to the shoulder blades. Jason's not going to take that lying down, I don't think, though. Nope. Oh, hip toss by Elliot. Nice rollout by Jason. Yep. Oh, into a punch in the mouth. Oh, going back. Snap suplex by Elliot. Oh, and a kick to the back of the time. Ooh. Oh, elbow drop, center of the spine, and Elliot just going for targeted attacks right now, it would appear. And now pumping up the Jays. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I forgot I gave him that. Right in the solar plexus. Oh, big Jason, counter. Oh, heavy right. Heavy left. Up and over into a power slam. It's a little early for a pin, but he went a little early. A for I effort. The tenacity. Oh, Jason's back down on the ground again. Wisely rolling out to the outside. Using the ropes. Looks like he might have taken those uh, spine shots starting to hurt. Oh, Elliot showing what little muscle he has it actually is worth it. Spine Buster! Really working on that back tonight. Yeah. Kick out at two. Yeah, I think uh, Jason's back might be giving him problems right now. Uh, you know, also oh. on that one, the ref was asleep. Oh, yeah, the ref didn't show up for a good two oh, seconds. Oh, my God! Attitude oh, another Jason. one. Wow. Jason, kick, kick out, out of two. two. Not even two and a half, which means he's still got plenty of fight left in him. And now he's showing it with that clothesline takedown. Now it is his turn to put the pain on the heel. Oh, kick to the stomach. Setting up. Big power bomb. Going for the... Oh, oh. Oh. You hurt his back, now he's hurting yours. Let's see whose back can carry the most weight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can say for this for sure, the chiropractors in this town are going to make bank. Dr. Eddie gets the big paycheck. Oh, kick out of one by Elliot. Ref looks asleep again. Yeah, can we get a new re- ref? We need a new ref. Right. To be fair, this is our new. This is a new rep. His, his name's Michael. He's Michael. a little bit slow on it today because our coffee machine was stolen by a certain someone who fights raccoons. Yeah. Mm, panda Basura. Nature see nature. Hey. That bastard. Panda Basura. Yeah, those are the correct homeless man, but espresso. Up, they might steal one too. Oh, ah. Elliot goes for a pin. Kick out of two by Jason. Know this man as like how the rest of us are ignoring this match because we're arguing oh, so over you mean people it's all yeah. over here. Chips. <laughs> Ooh, Jason with a takedown there. Oof. That's a lot of weight moving really fast in one direction. Mm-hmm. When 
Jason wants things to uh -oh. do. Things. Oh, no. I think Jason's going for another buckle bomb. Yep. Oh! Um, that was deserved. Yeah, Jason was, looks oh. like he's getting tired, though. Yep. Can't do many more of those with the pain and the, the attacks on his back so far this match. Ooh, Ellie, two and a half. Up, yeah. Both men slow to their feet, though. Jason, not that slow. Yeah. Ooh, axe handle to the back again. Another shoulder tackle. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise, he's just getting slaughtered. Oh, now Jason. Oh, all of his weight dropping right on the small of Elliot's back. Bouncing his chest off the ground. Because, you know, right in the solar plexus. Jason, though, getting a little winded there. Well, yeah, big man not supposed to move that fast. Right? It's always terrifying when you see it happen. Oh, God, dirty pinhead coming. Here we go, dude. Dirty pin? Jason now oh, trying to use God. one of its moves. Had he gotten there a little faster, that might have been it for Elliot. <laughs> Michael Ellie needs just... to, uh, I don't know, pay the hell attention to his job? Michael, we get it. Stop doing the cardio. Oh, spy buster again. Oh, oh did you Back hear time. the impact? I think I heard something under the ring break. I think the ref bounced a couple inches there. Stop right? Look at my house. My body. <laughs> Once again, targeting the back. At least we're not stealing any of his dining room furniture this time. This time. Pick out a two. Jason is still not done. Holy crap, this one's going for oh, a while. Oh. I think Elliot set up for another attitude adjustment. He's got him up. Oh, and there's the there's the slam. And that's it. Yep, that was Elliot, the super Yep, the uh -huh. heel came through. Yeah. Without even a good dick punch. Yeah. Right? Or a buckle surprised. removal. He actually beat him clean. He actually beat him clean. Oh, uh, so oh what's he gonna do? No. Don't do it. Yep. Oh, no. Elliot, no. Oh, God, he's got a steel chair. Jason. Oh, oh, oh no. God. Oh. All the humanity. Oh, Where's security? Michael, Michael, just get away. Let security handle this. Right. Yeah, I think Michael just shot himself. Bye, right, guys. Let's get out of here before he uses that chair on us. Right? <laughs> he might still be mad about the green slime. Listen, listen, Elliot. I said you'd win, my guy. I said. <laughs> Bob is uh, oh, wondering where half of his dining room set wait, just disappeared wait. to. Are we going to have the opening, Dylan? Yes, we are. Dylan. Yes. yes we are. <laughs> Bob might be able to see it, but I just started glowing. Uh, <laughs> even for his LSD fuel dreams. This is a little weird. Yeah, what right? Yeah. All right, so you next up. You will be blessed. For watching this opening. I feel yeah, like definitely. I feel like Grand Fat Wizard Relax. to Hermit Bob represents the judge during his last case at his law practice. And Cameron <laughs> represents the defense attorney who was he was valiantly fighting against to get his client convicted on multiple counts of cat urine possession. Hermit Bob going to win. Hermit <laughs> Bob ah, yes. A 1098C. All right, so <laughs> Kyle's voting Hermit Bob. Nick, who, who do you think's gonna? Do you think Cameron's gonna retain? Or do you think someone else is gonna take this belt? I I am split between Grand Fat Wizard and Hermit Bob. I think both have a really decent shot at taking it from Cameron. Yeah. Remember though, this is a Hell in a Cell match as well. Yeah, that's true. Fight, sell, fight, sell, fight. Introducing the challenger from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at two hundred ten pounds. That Bob's got new shoes. Where'd he get those from? Who'd he steal those shoes from? Bob's always had shoes. No, those are new shoes, it looks like. Wait, I'm getting a message from security. Whoever's in seat 10 and 9. Have a Bob steal your shoes. Yep. <laughs> Bob has to get the good shoes for the pay-per-view. Wait a minute, 10 9? 
Yeah, ten dash nine. I don't know. That's what the security told me. Ian. Probably that guy right there. Ian, ten nine is your dressing room number. God damn it, my shoes! <laughs> my shoes! <laughs> uh, uh, Hermit Bob needed the good shoes yeah. for the pay per view. Ian, the what do you mean the good shoes? Have you seen my shoes? <laughs> oh, Aaron, oh here, here we go. go. I just realized this is the debut match in canon yeah, debut yeah. match of Grand Fat Wizard. Hail! Hail the Wizard King! Wait, wait for it. I hate this. I hate this part so much. <laughs> Why is that so damn funny? <laughs> you know what? This is so much. The Wizard! <laughs> <laughs> the wizard atop oh his wizard God. tower now descends to appear amongst us mortals. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh. Why is that so Dude, funny? It's just so <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for oh. some backstory, this is the Grand Fat Wizard. Oh. We may have gotten him, uh, he, was, he was an ex-cult leader, as you can clearly tell. Yes. What talking about all of our all of our supervisors are heavily background checked, so there are no cult activity, no uh, drug you use, no we drug use. Hi, Bob, me. get here. <laughs> we don't talk about either of them. <laughs> oh man, we had no choice but to accept them. Well, Bob just kind of showed up one day, crawling out from under the arena, and it was like. Does anybody want to deal with that? And security said no. He stripped off his pants and threw his dirty underwear at us once already. So no thanks. And that's how Bob get job. And the Grand Fat Wizard, he did some really neat magic tricks, uh, tricks like uh, making a security guard disappear and uh, playing a game of hide the bloody knife. So we had to let him in. It was just he was too good at what he did. Oh, is that where Bob got his new kitchen utensil from? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we watched the Grand Fat Wizard saw a security guard in half. <laughs> we miss you, Mike. We miss you, Mike, every day. <laughs> the therapy bills are in the thousands. But we go through I security mean, guards like I go through socks. Like someone who essentially has multiple jobs on set and only wants one paycheck. I yep. appreciate it. <laughs> oh man. Wait, you think we pay Doctor Eddie? Hey, uh, Mike's family because of that. We, we don't talk about that. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's Settlements fine. don't count. It's fine. This is why we have insurance. Specifically, <laughs> anti homeless insurance. Hey. This right here is why. Eventually no, this is why we really can't even take these streams very seriously because of all the funny jokes we come up with this shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Residentially <laughs> <laughs> challenged. This guy, this character was literally created by an insult by our one and only commentator, Ian, to another commentator, Nick. He, this guy's an <laughs> in-joke. Wizards cannot be fat. They can be fat, and this man proves it. All right, folks, here he is, our golden dragon champion. He is the man who took the belt off the inaugural champ, Valcross. Oh, no. It's... Captain Punchy. Ian, what you call it's my little brother, Captain Dick Punch. <laughs> Hit you. Hate you both. Dick Punch for you. No, no, no. Remember, you called him Dick Punch for you. Yep, Dick Punch for you. There's Lieutenant Dick Punch, and there's this one. But I'm not going to be able to get away with saying the name that I came up with twice. Nope. Uh, no, you won't. The mechanic, Cameron. Uh, here is Cameron. I do have to say, though, that I like the shiny boots, but so does Bob. Bob yeah. would like the boots. <laughs> I'd like that shiny belt back, though. Bob wants the shiniest. Surprisingly, during the, uh... Surprisingly, I think during the great belt redesign for these last few weeks, one of the only belts we all agreed would stay the same. Like, this is one that we yep. didn't think needed to be changed at yeah, all. that didn't need to be changed at all. No, it's simple, it's clean, and it makes sense. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Versus, like, some of the other belts where it's like, uh, they could use a redesign. The cage is coming down. There's the nice cage. Job, whoever, nice job, random internet personality that designed the belt, wherever you may be. Right? <laughs> 
You can't tell, but I'm staring daggers at you right now. Fat, no. Fat wizard Just. is... He he has no fear. Yeah. Bob was eating pizza. And, and, and Bob immediately goes after him because he looks like a shiny piece of candy. It looks like he could be oh. unwrapped and there might be something delicious Thank inside. You. Billy yeah, developed a super different kind of situation and I assure you no. Oh, the wizard is... Uh, now telling the chain spells. Oh! Bob's asking for a recess. He definitely remembered his law practice. <laughs> yep. The judge, on the other hand, just beating up on the defense attorney after multiple objections. <laughs> Clothesline there by Cameron. Ooh. Fat nice Wizard does a cool disappearing <laughs> act. <laughs> the outside of the ring. Uh oh, going That's after the ring. Yeah, it's perfect camouflage. You ever see a wizard like that before? Exactly. You don't see the purple orcs because the purple orcs are the stealthy color. Are you stealthy? You ever see a stealth a, a purple orc? Exactly. Oh, okay. Herman Bob with Ooh. a clothesline. Looks like uh, and a drop kick by Cameron. Looked like the wizard was gonna recover there for a second, and then Bob said, "Nope, here I am." No. Nah. Bob sent all 400 pounds of the wizard into a into a 360. Yeah, it's quite impressive. What the hell just happened there? The I've got a double kill once again. <laughs> just kick at him in the shin. Bob is tired of his pointy shoes. It reminds him of the Keebler elf and when he got thrown out of the Keebler factory. Oh, Man, fair. That wizard out going after Bob. Oh, and Bob takes the wizard down. Bob says no. Cameron's going to beat up on the homeless again. Good lord, son. What has he ever done to you? Uh, yes. He bit his fingers. Yes. Actually, yes. In the opening of the match, Bob oh, yeah, that's his right. fingers. <laughs> nice block there. Oh, and a solid right right into the crossbody. Now KR turns his attention to the wizard. Shoulder tackle. Do. No problem beating up on fat wizards or the homeless people. Yeah, right. Close line by fat wizard. And a hip toss by Jesus Hermit Bob. Is... <laughs> Bob. Yeah, Hermit Bob says 400 pounds. Do that with one hand. Yeah. Holy yeah. yeah. oh, shit. Oh, Again, right. Do not <laughs> underestimate the homeless. Okay, you which see? which security guard told Bob that somebody had a candy bar in their pocket? <laughs> Uh oh, Hermit Bob setting up on the top rope with Cameron, which is his domain. To a superplex. Oh, Bob may uh, have hurt himself, though. Uh, Bob, a veteran of the homeless scuffles of the past. Wiz uh, Wizard whips uh, Bob into the corner. Oh, and a solid gut kick. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Damage one of my uh -oh. Wizard casting his most disgusting spell. No. Uh, oh. Oh. oh god, oh. it's got to remind Bob no. of the shelter. <laughs> well, Bob wasn't pleased. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of kick uh, Wizard out of the way. Cameron just repeatedly beating up on the homeless. It's an alley oop oh, into a power bomb. Ouch. Oh, wizard now going after Cameron. Ooh, side suplex. Oh, and this tells him to suck it. Oh my. I hope you are covering the eyes of your children. Jawbreaker there by Cameron. Ooh, inverted Russian leg sweep there. Mr. Oh! Looks like the wizard's on a roll. Oh, into a spine buster. And the pelvic thrust. Did a uh, wizard a miss? I don't think so, but Bob didn't. Oh, the ref's down! Dang. Oh, it gets out of there immediately. Ooh! That wizard, just a nice solid hit there on the knee of Bob. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
no. Wizard setting up! For his most devastating spell. Shattered Dreams! And that shattered the dreams of Bob ever having children. I almost feel sorry for Bob. Joke's on you, Bob didn't want me. Oh no, here it comes again, folks! Oh, not another stink, stink face! face. Ah. He deserves much I, worse. I'm getting reports that the Grand Fat Wizard did indeed have Thai food before the match. Oh no. Oh no. Grand Fat Wizard is our new Golden Dragon champion! Get out! He didn't just win! He, he just did. won! He only, he only won because, because he, ca he casted Cloud Kill while he did that. <laughs> <laughs> he cast Poison Cloud! No, it was uh, Poison Spray. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, this, is where we find, this is where we find out, guys, that uh, Grand Fat Wizard took a couple of levels of Monk, and that's why he beat the shit out of everyone. <laughs> Why did Bob just, like, get kicked in half roll? Well, you know, always, you gotta remember, some wizards in their earlier lifetime were, were barbarians. Barbarians that stop being afraid of reading. Wow. <laughs> I'll show you why I took five levels in the barbarian. Hey, I forgot. Did everyone else, just in case, because I know we talked over his entrance a bit. Uh, Grand Fed Wizard's, uh, announcement is, a uh, magic, uh, mystical, magical cotton belly. Magical, magnificent cotton belly. Yeah. Thank you. And if anyone magic wants to get a hold of him on social media, he is Calorie Caster. <laughs> yeah, he's at Calorie Caster. But congratulations <laughs> in his That's debut the first match. Of power. To the new champion. See, oh, now, boy. Nick, I want you to look at that, that image of a man. That was not fat. That was all muscle. That no, is that a fat is, wizard. Fat. That is very fat. That is all fat, Ian. Nope. Oh, this was chaos. All right, so, who's for a four team ladder tag match? Oh, man. Uh, my vote's on uh, Kyle and Horace. Uh, which, which version? Is the nightmare version or normal version? Kyle and Horace. Not okay. I, uh, not my personal nightmares. Belt. So yeah. as funny as it would be for me to actually get a belt, my money's on Dr. Reddy. Uh, Ian, you're actually in the match, so you can't actually say anything right now. Uh, Jed, who do you think's gonna win out of this colorful cast of characters? Uh, Ian gets a say if I get a say, numb nuts. I, oh, that's I right. Twice. Two. That's right, yeah. Wait, what? I just realized, yeah, you said that. Ian, sorry about that. <laughs> that's fine. I get it. I did. There's some enough for bias. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that the new guys get it. Warhammer. Mm. All right, Nick. Who do you think? Um, I I am actually split because I think Nightmare Fuel has a really decent chance of getting it, but I also think that uh, Ian and uh, his Boo Bear uh, may use the power of love to win the day. Oh, the power God. of love and family. Hair Bear. Does this look like an anime? They are. But, see, listen, listen. All their opponents have strength, but none of that strength is as, is, is as strong as family, and that's why they're going to win. He's really Ian. Uh, Jed, do you have a prediction for this match before I start the intros? <laughs> These are available at concessions, one hundred dollars each. Yeah. Brand. Brand. Ignoring that, <laughs> um, I still believe that both of the uh, Kyle and Horace teams have strong chances. But Chris has shown us that he can be pretty tenacious, and Ian's character, Valkos, held the belt for quite a while. That's I have a 50% chance of winning this match regardless. That is fair. Alright, hope you guys enjoy all the uh, team entrances, by the way. I, I am here for this. And this is a uh, ladder match. So this yes, is... so the belts are suspended above, and you have to climb the ladder and undo the carabiner to get them. I guess it's taking a while to load. Sorry about that, folks. There. Oh! Looks like the first team entering the ring. A good old nightmare fuel. I wasn't trying to actually be on key, all right? I was just trying to do a bit. You say, eh? All right, <laughs> I'm going to send Tickles to your locker room so you can say hi. 
No. Please don't. Making his way to the ring. Tickles. Tickles looks like le is looking like he's talking to Eddie. Like, let me use that to light to light this real quick. Just, just let me use it. Come on. You've got an open flame right there. I can light it real quick. No. Tickles should stay as far away from open flames as possible. His body is almost 100% covered in grease paint, grease paint and oil. We've seen grease fires but, before, <laughs> and then, I'm but this sure one would be hair is 100% hairspray. Like pretty much, yeah. We've seen grease fires before, but but this one would be pretty funny. Boo! <laughs> you can almost say it's intense. Listen. He's clowning around with that, uh, that lamb. I don't think Wow. Ian? <laughs> that was do bad. Not, don't you dare make me server mute you. <laughs> I'm never again going to interrupt somebody else to let you get off a bit. <laughs> that See, was bad. <laughs> See, I'm on Ian's side. You know, that bit was, that, that whole spiel was kind of intense, just like circus fires. Oh my god. <laughs> I. That might tickle somebody's funny bone. Listen. <laughs> They're not you too. You I, gotta let me have. Oh my god. <laughs> that was <laughs> both of you. That was. Guy, I'll have wow. Yeah, and this really tickles my funny bone. Uh. I just made that joke, you copycat. Well, you know, I made that joke, but louder. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, next team is entering. There they are, folks. And at a combined weight of 385 pounds, the All-American Cruise and the Giant Killer. Hey, look, it's everyone's favorite tortilla salesman. Mr. Everyone's Horatio. Everyone's favorite luchador and everyone's favorite giant slayer. Who has not successfully slain this giant? I haven't seen the belt actually, but I've you three times. Yeah, he's actually got more wins over you than you have over him. He just he hasn't taken your belt yet. Yep. Yeah, none of those have been belt matches, have they? Uh, one the, was. Oh, the first one was. Yeah, the, the first one was. was. One of the few losses that I have to uh, your character was for the belt initially. Gotcha, okay. Then you started with the everyone is tiny baby man, beat Claude, and then fought me twice and lost. And then I kept going on to flatten Claude because it makes me feel better about myself because we don't have yep. weight classes here. <laughs> yes. Yep. Austin316, my friend, you're at the wrong arena. They are uh, in Atlanta this weekend. I'm just falling down. What? Did Kyle just fall down? Yes. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to run that back later. Someone clip that. Someone clip it. Yeah, no kidding. Somebody clip that. The dangerous alliance. Someone clip Kyle falling down. Yes. Where's David when we need him? Right? Kyle, what happened? Hmm? He just straight... Did Horatio trip you? What yeah, happened? You like oh, straight Eddie fall over. Blaming Eddie. Eddie grabbed my shoelaces. Probably. He's a robot. He's looking for all his fans, but none it's of them is the seeable because he's in purple. Yeah, we got the war boss and we have the commissar of the Death Krieg. Death Corp Krieg. Oh, Death Corp Krieg, sorry. Death Core. Not playing Borderlands. All I hear is Tiny Man go squish. Like a good orc, he's here for them tights. Hey, he's going to paint it red and make this whole belt go faster. That's why his pants are red. He's here he's to so squish cute. some umi. And now it's time for the final team. Ian and his Uber. Well, we'll be here once. Th th this game is taken. It's not like him doing all these tag teams. No, I think an eight-man tag match is making your game go chugga. There's a reason we don't have this on the main roster. <laughs> right? Like, this is a special.
There they are. At a combined weight of 590 pounds, the, the bear and the terror trash man, the B team. The B team. <laughs> Get it? The bear team. I think Ian's gonna go over to Winnipeg and punch him in the nuts. <laughs> right. By the way, I'm just a whole dick march magoo on you, Dylan. I hope dick you're not allergic. Dylan. Guys, I need to point out something real quick. This is the first time we've seen Chris in a match in a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, yeah. You're right. Dylan. Yes. I hope you're not allergic to nuts. <laughs> because he's about to kick yours up in your mouth. <laughs> By the way, if anyone actually recognizes this, I, I got the joke. Yes. I'm just choosing to ignore it. Kyle recognizes this. And I think he, does anyone else recognize the motion I gave them? No. Dumb joke. Is it the Hardy Boys? No. Nope. Not that one. Oh, it was the Rock and Sock con the connection. Yeah. And I am going right after Eddie. He gave looks, me a bad yeah. dental plan. Oh, uh, Commissar looks like he is the first one going after a ladder. Of course, okay. Oh, Boo Bear's going after Kyle. Dr. Eddie's on to Ian. Horace is after the war boss, or after the commissar, and uh, Tiggles is after the war boss. It is pure chaos. Yes, it is. So, we're not even sure calling. Uh, for this match, I think our commentating is going to stick to us saying, Ooh, I oh, just this looks Eddie on the ground. Yeah, call what you see, and when they climb oh. the ladder, we'll talk about when they're on the ladder. Ooh. Uh, Chris managed to get off a good uh, hip toss on Kyle. Oh, oh. 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 Would appear that the current teams that's got the high momentum is uh, Warhammer 40k and uh, the spoilers. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but Dr. Ed is kind of taking it to Valkyries right now. Fair enough. Oh, Chris, first one to go after a ladder. You know, if everyone is so uh, caught up that they don't see him go for it, that's fine. I'll take that win. Kyle coming back in <laughs> saying Chris can't do that. On the corner. Letting the grunts do all the work. Smart man. That's how he got to be a commissar. That's my no joke when commissar I make characters. Putting the herd on Horus for morale. Yeah. And, and Kyle's putting the herd on Chris. Business will continue until we're around and I got a little fed up with Eddie there and had to put him on the ground. Poor boss looks like he took the ladder out of the ring with him. Ooh! Spinebreaker right on the on the concrete down there. On the concrete of the ramp. That one's that's ouch. Oh Lord. It's lock suplex on the concrete. Now Eddie's starting to send uh, Ian onto the concrete. Oh, and he's got him in the mandible claw. Horace and the commissar are still going at each other's throats. Well, I mean, he knows that Horace plays Necron, so... Oh, Kyle got Chris in the face a couple times pretty good. And there goes oh. Chris. The commissar now changing his uh, attention to Kyle, who uses dirty space wolves. Dirty space furries. Wow. I'm going to take that for you. And uh, he's not taking it from the commissar either with a choke slam. Warboss Zank is really giving it to uh, Tickles over there before Kyle Ooh, gets him with a drift away. Grabbing a ladder. That's a teardrop suplex there, Nick. Oh, teardrop? I uh, thought he had the drift away on him. No, Jared Zilla has the drift away. Oh. Bouts being left alone in the outside of the ring to recover. Oh, horse is on the top rope. And a cross body to Ian and uh, his Boo Bear. It's one way to take an entire team out. Oh, Kyle's got tickles. Horace is used to the uh, taking a tag team on his own. Wow. Oh, he's I'm saying he's one. a good wrestler. What? <laughs> wow. We all know what you were really saying. Dang. Horace, stop hitting my boo bear with the ladder. Chop block. Looks like it's <laughs> the Nightmare Fuel and Warhammer are in the ring right now with Chris trying to set up that ladder in the middle without them noticing. Oh, jeez. Chris is just whacking everybody with the ladder before taking a big boot to the skull. Oh, Chris falls up with his own big boot and a snapmare. Jesus. 
It looks Ligerson. like the war boss is really giving it to uh, Dr. Eddie on the outside right now. No, he did not. Commissar DDT on the ladder to Valcross. Yikes. First one to set up the ladder. Who is going to be the first to climb it? Tickles going after Valcross, pitching Valcross to the edge, and, and the he's out. Oh, the Tickles commissar. The big, big choke slam from Kyle Looks to the like commissar. Tickles on the edge of the ring, coming after me. Watch his body. Punched Eddie. Oh, I think I might be at. Oh, no, nope. I, I reversed that. Boo Bear is down currently. Uh oh, Tickles is getting Deep bounced ring. off the edge. Bounced off the most dangerous and hardest part of the ring, the apron. Oh, there goes Horace. Oh, Horace, first one to climb the ladder. War boss. The, the war boss says, not on my watch. I'm going to punch you in the ass until you can't get that belt anymore. Oh. Uh oh. And that he's gone. Yes. They pushed on the ladder. Yep. That was solid teamwork. Solid teamwork. Now it with the ladder. Oh, fighting with, fighting with Kyle over it. Kyle loses it. Oh. oh, ow. All right, me, get up. Oos. Chris setting up uh, Dr. Avery Stoss, glass on the outside. Oh, he him open. broke him and open. And his bust tickles open as well. Holy um, crap. Um, um. Uh, <laughs> what just happened there? Kyle Schwarzer is setting up. Doing his uh, dark magic, floating in the middle of the ring. Don't worry about it. Warboss then coming over to be a spoiler and take Kyle down. Ian says, I don't think so. Uh oh. Come on, Boo Bear. You got no. Wait, what? what? No. Why did you help him get the. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, there, Dylan, I might need a rules explanation. To this. There's a strategy behind that one. If you push down the ladder, your partner's still holding on to it. It's less likely that shorter opponents can go up and grab you then. Where your guy has more time to just fidget with him at the top, completely unbothered. It's like the rear boss is going up. Come on, Tickles. You not knock that ladder over. Oh, Tickles though gets caught by the commissar and tossed out of the ring. Uh oh. Yeah. Do it. Kyle's gonna stop it. Hopefully. Oh, there's Boo Bear. Boo Bear Chris oh. trying to stop it. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna grab the warlord. Oh, he got him. An electric chairs. Horace really going after me out there. I thought, uh... Boo Bear going oh. for it again. Yep. Kyle giving Dr. Eddie Come concussions off the ring post. You've got this. Oh, my God. Is is uh, Chris is Chris and Ian going to live up to their team name of spoilers and spoil this match? Well, I don't... Possibly. I don't think uh, there's much Chris. spoiling. Nope. Oh, nope. power bomb by the war boss. I was gonna say it's so far the fight's been pretty legitimate. Oh, oh and Ian really just got really knocked off the Really just not no. letting me have a moment to breathe. Yeah, no, Chris. Horace is really going after you. Warboss taking his time up the ladder. Commissar back into play defense. Oh! Chris though going after the ladder. Pushes it down. They got the war boss! Power Ooh. slam or power bomb on the ladder. Ouch, there goes the war boss. Man, Ian still can't catch a break out there. Kyle is really beating the hell out of Eddie now. Who is still busted open from earlier, I might add. Yep, so stickers. I'm in the ring again, so I'm not gonna be taking oh. <laughs> the concrete. Commissar gets bonked on the head with the ladder on the ropes. Her bonk. Ooh! <laughs> Sharp knee to Horace from Chris. Saving Valcross. And then Ooh, working on the high flyer's damage. elbows so that he can't get back up and inflict further damage. Tickles bounced off an announcement table. Oh, Come shit, on, Buster. Valcross finally getting back in the ring. Boo Bear, climb, or Chris, Boo Bear Chris climbing the ladder. Oh, here comes Eddie. Here comes Warboss. to the ring. That was dirty. Yeah, I love it. Valcross, though, not happy with War Boss. Really? Takes the ladder. Uh oh. This is dirty. It's from a Ooh! 
Valkyrie has bounced off the ladder. Not, this is not a good match for me. Orbos, slow to climb the ladder, though. It's taken a lot of damage this match. Up oh. here comes Senor Horatio. He says, those Ooh. are my tortillas. Commissar busted open on the outside. Oh, there's Ian trying to push the ladder down. The ladder down. It's down. And he's got the war bus. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh Dr. Eddie. Ooh. Ooh, Styles Clash to Dr. Eddie. War bus just getting a ladder to the shin. Tickles and Horace going after each other still. There is a lot of blood all around this. We're going to have to sanitize this later. Oh, Get that's out of your horse. Oh. Tired of your ass. Kyle starts setting up a ladder bridge. That's never good. Ooh. Down goes Horace. Ooh. Chris Mist landed on the ladder. That's got to hurt. Both Kyle and the war boss sent to the outside. I was going to say, it looks like Valcross got some revenge on Horace over there. Ooh, Kyle hit with a ladder. And now getting double teamed by the Commissar and Chris. I'm walking over to the war boss. I want to introduce myself to this handsome man. Ooh, Kyle bounced onto the ladder bridge. That's painful. Up and down for a power bomb on the outside. I think we're gonna have a uh, couple of injuries going. Oh yeah, this there's there's injuries abound here. Looks like Eddie and Chris are going after each other now. Kyle is still on the ladder bridge. It's anyone's match still at this point. If Chris Ian can on get the end with the doctor, Eddie. Up. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm Kyle. attempting to climb. Kyle finally off of the ladder bridge. Oh, Val crosses up, grabbing the belt. Here comes the Commissar. The wait. Commissar slips. Ian has the belt. Yes! I have the belt! Ian and Chris are inaugural tag team champions. That was... An intense match. A hell that of a match. Pure chaos. I love it. Here are your winners and the new pure undisputed classic, the bear and the terror trash man, the B team. Congratulations to the B team for being the inaugural tag team champions. Well earned, too. Well earned. Well earned, indeed. Considering Ian kind of came from behind in that one, it's like, you know, he spent most of the time outside the ring getting beat up on. Yep. I did. All I right. spent at least 70% of that match just getting hammered. Let's see. Next match is the main event title, correct? Yep. yep but before we do that, oh, he just left. He's got to hit the concession stand real quick. Yeah, he, he's probably uh, very thirsty after that match. So, it's finally time, folks, for the main event. It is a five-man Hell in a Cell match for the We Ain't Figured It Out Yet Championship. Oh, boy. Nick, looking at your opponents and look at knowing your, your uh, track record defending this belt, do you think you will hold on to that belt tonight? I've only lost this belt once, and like I said, I have already squished the two tiny men in here, Near Tan and Claude, I have repeatedly run each of them over. Jalal is a bit more of a mystery, but that that handsome disco man makes me nervous. Something about the sparkly uniform, you know? And also solidarity with father and son, yes, you both use the same hand wraps. Yep. Or at least same color, anyways. Well, we both uh, had uh, carpal tunnel surgery, so I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, because I was, uh, I'm contractually obligated to do this. Ian, you were not damaged in the last fight. What is on your forehead? Ladies and gentlemen, your brand name, brand, brand sports announcers do work up a thirst as they're doing this announcing. And what do we turn to when yeah. we're thirsty? Brand name, brand, brand, purple stuff. 
purple stuff. It's the quenchiest. Best god. brand. Oh god. Brand. I can't I can't believe I actually went along with that. <laughs> Honestly, here's the thing. No. I'm actually gonna make a prediction. I normally don't make a lot of predictions on these matches. I am actually gonna give my vote to Russ. Yeah, I can, that's kind of where I'm leaning to, unfortunately. Yeah. Ian, same thing. Gonna go for Russ. Jed, how about you? Who do you think is gonna win this? It could be Nick, but I'm really hoping for Russ, honestly. <laughs> Just because I think it'd be a very great show. Yeah. Kyle, how about you? Jay, I wonder. Yeah, fair enough. Not Kim. Russ. <laughs> Can't vote. And we just had an outside vote from Jamie. She votes for Russ. All right. Ah. All right. And Russ votes for himself. Obviously. All right. All right. Let's get this match underway. Oh, he's first. Oh, here comes Russ with his big entrance. Let's see, this is only his fourth match currently, yes? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Uh, he's won all three of his other matches before this. He had his debut match at all WrestleMania. He Look won at that. It. Look at that Here's disco. Look at that smile on that man's face. He is happy to have a title shot. This is Russ the Bus. Hustler Russ. Hustler Russ. You know, this brings me almost as much joy as the Fat Wizard's entrance. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's getting down. Yep. Sometimes I feel like... Sometimes I feel like... What? I just do this. I do this just to make these funny entrances for you guys. Here's, I don't I even mean, do this for the wrestling. I only do it for the intros. I, I am here for the intros as well as the wrestling, but I'm not going to lie. The intros really kind of just mwah, put it over the top. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Yeah, it's just, it takes it from being something fun to just mwah, pure enjoyment. masterpiece. Pure enjoyment. Yes. Look at that. Disco never died. Disco <laughs> never died. It, 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 we thought it died, but it came back. It was resurrected. You know it. And introducing the challenger. From Max the MP. Renaissance. How did you get that down there? I missed that. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty cool, huh? The ladies man. Where'd you get that My from? Uh, one of the one of the uh, uh, tag teams at the time were video game themed. Gotcha. Okay. So they had the game over. And then they had that. Didn't last long, let me tell you that much. Hey, as long as it's in this game, it works for us. Yeah, I know, right? Look, it's Tiny Elf Boy. He's going to get flattened by a big fat man again. <laughs> and maybe I'll beat him up, too. Ironic that the song says, I like the things I see, but Nier only has one eye. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the uh, the irony is not lost on me. Uh, he just fine. He just the depth challenger depth. from Tehran, Iran, weighing in at 185 pounds. The yes. Jalal, future king, descendant of the Safavid dynasty. Uncle Suleiman. Yes, it, it, he is uh, Uncle Suleiman's progenitor. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I'd also like to point out uh, a couple other things he's known for. Uh, one of the only men to ever walk out of the Orzhov Bank without uh, paying a toll. Uh, a tamer of a wild blue dragon. A tamer and of a wild blue dragon. This sounds false. Uh, I would no, like you to. Not Jackson, I'm Maya, you doofus. This sounds false. The only man. Dad didn't approve of it. <laughs> Dad's got to be around to approve. Ooh, oh, shots fired. Dead in most of the campaign. Maybe we'll and change that in the next round. <laughs> let's hope. Let's try to not have that happen in the next campaign. And introducing 
the champion from Chicago, Illinois. Oh man, I left my hat out in the car. Damn it. Pounds, he is uh, the all-star undisputed men's champion. Tenacious A. Nick sporting the brand new uh, We Figured It Out Yet belts and his uh, only a few week old entrance now. It's what yeah. this uh, brand company sponsorship has been able to allow us to do with the money. I know, right? Yes. It's nuts. Brand was the best sponsorship we could have asked for. Brand, the brandiest. Brand, a sponsor. <laughs> Uh, the supremely intelligent male personage returns. The challenger. Hey, I went three weeks without making one of those jokes. Yeah, you did good, but we have to take your chip away now. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Fell off the wagon again. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I you was. Did. I was honestly. I was really hoping that he was about to get ambushed by like Jason or somebody random. <laughs> No one else. Oh, no one else. No one else uh, is uh, hates him except for you, Nick. Oh, gee, I wonder why, Mr. Finger Nibbling. Ugh. By the way, uh, I had. I actually was. Uh, I was. Uh, had a group with them, the Saturday night group, uh, in person finally. So I showed everyone their intros. Oh boy. Two things. Oh, Claude only had two things he wanted really changed. What? And uh, he wanted to change where he was from, and I needed to change his weight, but that's beside the point. Uh, I did add one other fun thing for him because of his new location he's actually from. What? I... Yeah, he has vampire fangs. Yeah. He's Claude. Claude is a vampire. Everyone knows this. Accurate. He's also from Transylvania, so... That's his new uh, city he's announced from. Oh, here we go. It's time to squish the tiny baby man. Look at, belt. Look at that brand new belt with the decks and heads. Refs, please lock the cage. I was wondering why Vision was going to the back of the ground. Ha ha, I forgot to turn Spotify off. <laughs> really, Nier? Oh. Really, you're going to start with me. <laughs> of all the it people like, in the ring. It looks like Russ is starting with Claude, though. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't seem oh. like it's going too bad for Nier. Inverted uh, STFO. Yeah, no, That'd I don't think one. so. Jalal says, oh. what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> yep. Look, it's just like in the campaign. Yep. I will remind, I will teach you the hard way. What the hell, You're did I just trip? No, no Jalal hit you upside the head. head. Oh, I thought I tripped. I was like, oh, oh that's super kick to Russ, sends him down. Ew. The Russ. Back up immediately. Like, like an old war horse, just right back up. Never giving up. Letting Claude Jalal have a turn. Uh oh! Scary. Is this the birth of a new tag team? Oh God, I hope not. It's stereo right there. Ooh, Nick sending his dad outside the ring, not wanting to mess with him. Nope, I would rather just not fight him and squish the tiny man. Oh, Claude and ooh, Nick, I need you to get a dictionary and look up the words patricide. Yeah, nice cutter there by Nier Tan. Uh, Patrick Star. No. Nope. Not a fan. Yeah, that was completely the word that was used. Yes. Big knee drop there by Nick on Claude. Near Tan oh going after. Oh boy. Here going after the DM. Oh! Backbreaker. <laughs> Getting treated to a personalized oh. experience. Nick, say your prayers. In nomine Patres et Fili et Spiritus Sanctis. Amen. Jalal pulled a disappearing act for a little bit. And goes after the DM. Why are we all going after the DM? <laughs> because Nick, the boots burn. Now, real quick. In order for them to take the belt, they have to pin me, or is it just no. whoever gets and first pinfall? First okay. pin or submission wins the belts. Goodbye, this Nier. Is a, this is a Hell in a Cell match, so there's no DQ. Oh, Jerome! High chance. Rolling Nick over into the. the oh, into the walls of Jerusalem! I thought it was Jericho. 
is, but I thought it would be funnier. <laughs> Just like how Gabe's six one nine is the eight one five. Here, I need to take a I need to take a quick nap for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, on hey. top of near. Yes. Ouch. Oh. Another bitch. Russ setting up on Jalal. Got him on the shoulders. Hits him with the F5. Ooh. And Russ wins. Whoa. What the yeah. hell just happened? That was a quick match. Yeah. You just got your belt snatched by your father. Yo, Dad, you Nick. Won. Damn it! Yes. Yeah, Nick. Finally losing his belt. Holy shit! But you know what? Comments? Oh my god, that was okay. Wait a second. How many weeks has it been since I took it back from you, Dylan? In in universe, these... it's been at least what two or three months? No, uh, you took it away from me. I think back. We'll check after this because I could go back and check titles. Yeah, because it was before Here backlash. It was. That I ended I up taking wanna, it back. You want it back at WrestleMania. Yeah. And now Russ just stole the belt from you at Hell in a Cell, a.k.a. Boss Fight. Nick, is there a chance we can get a comment from the man, the myth, the legend himself? Uh, yeah, is there any way we can? Would Russ be willing to come on stream and uh, answer a couple of questions? I don't know. He's not watching this. Yeah, he's uh, he looks a little busy. <laughs> Stardom, you know. Yeah. Well, if we can get him on. Pin picture right there. Look, Russell look at this screenshot. Royalty in the background. Nick, I think you need to take a quick screenshot before we hit next match, let's just so you see. can show that to your dad. Let's see if I can. Uh... Let's see, was it uh, Control S? Nope. Isn't it F12? Yeah, but we're not in a Steam game. Ah, Alt F4. I will kill you. No. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Oh my it God! I know a... there's a way to do it. If there, if it's hard, I'll just take a photo with my phone. Hang on, hang on. Later. There we go. There's the snip of the sketch. Sure. All right. Um, I take have... a picture. Windows yep. logo plus Shift plus S. I have just had a request. After we're all said and done here, Jonathan would really like it if we made him a character. For the stream tonight, we will make him a character. Well, we don't have to do it for the stream tonight, but he is just no, no. that we make him a character. Okay. After stream is what I said. But yeah. Got it. I think I got it. Oh, I hope so. I just hit next show. Oh. Maybe oh, I shit. didn't get it. I don't know. Well, someone can make a clip of it real quick and <laughs> yeah. do it like that. Okay, so. First things first, uh, power rankings after the pay-per-view. Ooh, it shook up big. I'm Nick's still number, number one. one. But now Jamie is number two. Jason is number three. Coming after you, Nick. Kyle went down to four. Kim's at five. Horace and Hildegard are out of the top five. Oh, wow. uh, no. Uh, Alyssa is 15. What happened? I don't know. I'm surprised the the tag team win didn't... Set, didn't uh... Put me up higher. Nope, doesn't look like it. Russ actually went down. Really? All right, All right let's look at, uh, yeah. Championship news, let's see. Uh, okay, I took it from you in May. This is August, right? Yeah. yeah. It so, wasn't an actual title match, remember? Because the game right, broke we did have that. We did have that. Yeah. So it was probably you took it from May. You took it in May. You lost it in June because it did not like it was. Yeah. I think it was like the tail end of May that you ended up uh, winning it, and then the beginning of June you lost it. That's right. So that looked like Claude and Christopher had injuries. Is that what I saw? That's what I'm looking at right now. We have Russ won. They won. He won. Big match, win. Oh, no, nothing else. Okay, I thought it said injuries. Oh, that was in right, previous get, weeks. Oh. Let's, I saw that too, but we'll get into that because I just realized what time it was. That pay-per-view took a long time. Yeah, that was a two-hour pay-per-view. Good Lord. That was a good one. We may only get in two of our shows. To, 
tonight yeah. for this. Hopefully our matches go pretty fast. If if we only get two shows in, at least that first one was. Yeah, that, yeah, that no. first pay per view was the way to start the stream. That's for damn oh, sure. Yeah. All right, we are coming to you live from Rosemont, Illinois, for the oh, follow up God. from the follow up from Hell in a Cell. Because apparently my side of the country is scary. <laughs> well, all right. So first up, we have a one on two handicap match: Jamie oh versus Amaya and Hildegard. Then we have a two on two tag. No idea. Then we have a two on two tag team match between uh, the Bagel Boys and SNG, otherwise known as Saturday Night Guys. Looks like Winter's got a bit of a call out here in the in the mid card. Elliot versus uh, Jaren in a no holds barred. Oh my! Another one on two. Uh, Ashley oh. versus uh, Kim and Alyssa. Ashley's gonna get squished. <laughs> Let me just make sure I got everything set up. And <laughs> Nirtan coming after Nick in the main event. Oh look, it's another small man that needs to get squished. Nir said, "I want to cast a spell." And it's gonna be squish. Wait, what's that? What's that one song? Uh, I put a spell on you. Yeah. Except he's the wrong person to sing it. Cause what's he gonna do? Crap his pants, turn his feet gigantic, and make his skin blue? Now, Nick, no, no, we know for a fact a wizard can do two of those things. Oh, and uh, also belch out bubbles. Uh, we can't forget that one. Already streamers from his fingertips. Because we have what? See, we have seen a wizard shit his pants and grow big. That's true. That's true. Uh, also, thought it was a great idea in the middle of a desert that almost never has rain to create a snowstorm at the walls of Jerusalem. I didn't do that. That was the wild magic search. Stop casting spells in a mana storm. I don't remember that one. You weren't there for that one. That was one of the weeks you were not there. That was right before we went to Ravnica. All right, that was, uh, you still had your, I think actually you still had your job at 7-Eleven and that was one of the Sundays you couldn't get free. Yes, because I don't work for them anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I did not work for 812 for ring. several years or the 7-Eleven. The Irresistible Force. I will be right back. I'm going to let you guys handle commentary for a minute. All right. It's a one-on-two -on -one match. Jamie, one of our previous champions, who had a match at, at the pay-per-view, versus Amaya and Hildegard, two of our other larger uh, female competitors. Not sure what's going on here. Or why this happens. Honest to God, I really don't. And her opponents. First, from Kyoto, Japan, the dragon, Alpha Amaya. It has been a while since we've seen Amaya in a match. We had her come in and uh, substitute for Winter once, Winter and then I believe, and then I believe we had a. Uh, did we have an Amaya versus Alyssa match? Or no? Right here she comes, folks. The Viking Andrew Princess. Parker, look at that Russell, Belgium, the Viking Princess. Oh. 
So yeah, I think this might be just uh, Jamie proving that she does deserve that uh, top three spot on the power rankings. Seems like it. Also funny enough, this uh, combo could have actually happened in our campaign. Hildegard and Amaya working side by side against a common enemy. Ooh! Big spinning neck breaker right off the bat from Amaya. Amaya might have hurt herself on that one. And a sling blade. Damn. Amaya Amaya. Is playing around. Yeah, Amaya starting out very strong today. Now target in the arms, so Jamie can't do her Samoan drops. And yes, Dex, and yes, Nick slash Dexon, we do see you in the chat. Oh, I'm a little loud, I guess. Oop, uh, right, sorry, I forgot about that. Stop touching things. Apparently I'm very loud, someone tried to push my mic away, so a little less loud. Jamie, not get, able to get to her feet very quickly, probably still uh, having a couple of injuries there from her uh, pay-per-view match. I was going for the cover kind of early. Oh yeah. Able to kick out of it though. Go, Bolton. Hmm. And Jamie's staying, making her pay for it. Ooh, nice back over there by Jamie. Jamie. Uh, now it's Jamie's turn to go after Amaya. And you made her pay for it. And a rolling senton. Jamie now going out. Ooh, back. Break her on the knee into the accordion stretch. Now Maya wisely rolling out of the ring, but Jamie follows right behind her. Ooh, big kick to the back of the head from Amaya. Jamie bounced up the hardest and most dangerous part of the ring there the on the apron. Yep. Ooh, went for a discus elbow there and caught a big slap from Jamie. I don't think you even realize the ref's still counting. He's up to five. Yeah. Well, if we're going to have a double count out, you really, ladies might want to get back in the ring. Ooh, Jamie bounced off the Jamie. ring post. Amaya taking a move from Kyle's play to try and concuss her opponent. Oh, if she was smart, she could have left them out in the ring, or outside of the ring, and just walked winning herself and gotten the victory. Yeah, that would have been the smart move. Yeah. Like what I do. Yeah, but you do it during title matches, which is not always best. Ooh, running knee strike into the corner Maybe. into a running bulldog. Best wrestler will never win a belt. Amaya refusing to tag uh, Hildegard. I thought she was going to hit the ref. Same here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, big judo throw across the ring. Ooh, and a solid throat chop. Whipped back into the corner. Jamie follows up. Ooh, but misses the tackle as Amaya barely ducks out of the way. Yeah, Amaya almost coming up moving time. Amaya whipping Jamie back into friendly territory. Big kick to the chest. Uh... Still no tag. But now Amaya, going off the rope. Ooh, ref got in the way, but a knee strike nonetheless. 
Thank God we uh, decided to upgrade to holographic refs. Right, at least in this match. And there goes the budget for the month. Oh, a kick out at two by Jamie. Finally, first tag. Now Hildegard's coming in. Ref Tane is time to get down there. Kick out a two by Jamie. Jamie rolls away from the stop there. Into the corner. Oh, and again misses the tackle. Whipped back into a friendly corner. Knee strike in the corner. Maya wisely hops down to stay out of the way. Yep. Alley -oop. Jamie goes up and back onto the ground. All right, Jamie whipped into the corner. Oh, Hildegard thinks she's setting up for that moonsault at first. Oh, yeah, that's the moonsault. Yep. Here she goes, up to the top rope. And it connects. Jamie not able to get the knees up. Ooh, kick out at two and a half. Almost. Almost. Fortunately, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah, but they kill the guards right at. Oh! Jamie able to block the combo and just sit, dump so the guard to the outside. Get yourself some breathing room. Now going after the Viking Princess. Oh, nice fireman's carry there by Hildegard. Bounced off the apron goes Jamie's head. Again. Oh, Jamie just taking a beating in this match. Yet still able to fight, keep fighting on. Oh, Jamie with a nice uh, arm drag reversal. Nice uh, knee drop there onto the back. And now Jamie targeting Hildegard's back. And her head, apparently. Ow. Bounced the ring a little bit on that one. Oof. Now the arm. Goes for a pin. Kick out at one. Hildegard definitely not ready to go down just yet. Ooh, and a solid headbutt. That's usually Hildegard's move. Yeah? Oh. Jamie's got Hildegard up. Throws her down. Out of the way, rough. Here comes the leg drop. Hell yeah. Jamie dragging Hildegard to the center of the ring. Okay. Trying to make sure there's no rope break. Kick out at two. Amaya yet, yet to actually try to come in and try to help her teammate. I guess it's not much of a teammate right there. I guess not. Seems a little over your two other people. Yep. I think Hildegard is a team player, because mm. uh, news to me. Yeah, I was going to say, probably not. I bet she thinks team is, oh, I can use somebody to take a lot of damage and wear an opponent down, and then I get the victory. Ooh! That's kind of what Hildegard's been going for. Beated Senton there onto Hildegard. Oh, Jamie, setting up. Ooh, pile driver. Didn't go for the pin. Nope, too close to Amaya and too close to the ropes. Looks like she's going to drag her into position for a better uh, pin. Oh, 
kick out at one by Hildegard. Once again, the long position cleaner. Ooh. Ooh. Vice grip on the shoulder blade. Doing damage. Yep. Oh, the guard Wesley rolls out of the ring. Jamie once again follows an opponent outside of the ring. Must have forgotten what happened with Amaya. Back inside the ring goes Jamie. Hildegard shortly follows right after her. Ooh, headbutt to the gut. Jamie goes right into the whipped into the corner. Barely got out of the way in time. Hildegard trying to just staring yeah. down at just a stare. This only works when the Care Bears do it. Um, uh -oh. I think they're broken. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, Hildegard's waiting for Jamie to wake up so she can hit her with the knee. Amaya getting out of the way. There's the iron knee strike. Hildegard that goes in for the pin. Might be enough to do it. Ooh, kick out at two and a half. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Ooh! Arm drag into the corner. Ooh! Nice uh, single drop kick there by uh, Hildegard. Now realizing she might not have what it takes, gonna tag, looks like she might be trying to tag in Amaya. Let her finish it. Jamie, Jamie wisely rolling back to her feet. Ooh! Drop to hold. Very nice. Jamie once again with another amazing arm drag into the ropes. Ooh, and a solid left. Don't make a oh, Jamie's got her. Oh, and just tossing her around. Uh oh, looks like Jamie been going for another one of these power drivers. No, the power driver. Ooh, and it, there we go. It connects. Yep. Jamie not done with Amaya just yet. I'm going to inflict as much Maybe damage as she can. General just yet. Oh. Looks like, oh no. Jamie's looking to end this. Here comes the Super Samoan drop. Hopefully Amaya can counter this. Boys, this might know. be it. She's like up. Avalanche time. Avalanche Simo and drop. And there's the cover. And that's it. Jamie pulls off a victory on a 1v2 match. Good job for her. Get past these. Congratulations to Jamie on picking up that victory. Proving why she is in the top three on the power rankings once again. All right, next up we have a tag team match between the Bagel Boys and SNG. Sorry, what, oh. what, what, what are their two names? Bagel Boys and SNG. Um, I don't think Bagel Boys is right. Yeah, what do you think their name is? Dick Punch Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't think I was expecting anything different at that point. Really? Yeah. Were you really right. expecting anything else? No, I really wasn't. That's the thing.
All right, let's get this match underway. All right, sadly, Cameron coming down to the ring after his loss to the Grand Fat Wizard on the pay-per-view. It was a very good match. That entire pay-per-view was just good. There he is, folks, the, Bur the uh, Blazing Boot Cruiserweight Wyoming, Champion. Wyoming, in at 220 pounds, the European Hardcore Champion. Champion, the Hooligan, Jay the Dragon. Ooh, he's not a dragon in my head. <laughs> Jay is dragon in name only. I just noticed, I don't think Nick never debuted his mic before he left. No, he just came back. Oh, okay. Though he did not win the match, this uh, last pay-per-view, Quad's still in good spirits coming here to help out his fellow uh, Saturday Night Gamer. Pounds, the gangster. Also, gave me one second, guys. I know you hate this, I know, I know. But so I can make sure I have this going on my own feed so I can see everyone. There we go. Tori said uh, earlier you were a little loud. That was my fault. I forgot to turn my audio balancer program on. Oh! I still had you... Uh, Oh set my up. god, I'm so sorry. I thought that all the green names in there was uh, you, Nick. I thought you were saying like you were listening to us, and I sounded loud. I just noticed it's two separate names. Yeah, no, I was listening to from the other device to see how bad it was, and the distortion was awful. I have, yeah. I had you up too loud in Discord, and I didn't have my audio balancer turned on. That is entirely my fault. Okay. What no was problem. that about? Was that earlier about knowing this isn't a professional stream? Yeah, pretty much. Well, considering normally my audio balancer is on by default, um, because I took the Oof. computer in to get it repaired, I turned off all my automatic turn-on programs, and uh, I just, I for yeah, yeah, that was one of them, and I forgot to have it automatically turned back on. You gotcha. Nice snap. Nice snap. I might know nice what the snap suplex. Is. Huh? I might know what the problem is. You're not using brand name, brand, brand audio mixer. Yes. I forgot the brand name, brand. Using brand. the shitty knockoff uh, version. Dylan, <laughs> teaching Jay how to count with elbow drops. So, Dylan, does that move make you dizzy at all? A little bit. Makes me dizzy just looking at it. I'm going to be real honest with you. The trick is, is he closes his eyes during. <laughs> that makes it worse. Did you just... Yep. Yep. On him? Ew. The disperse effect. Yep. It's like the point. This is the first time we're actually seeing Dylan in a match in a while on our actual stream. Yeah, actually thinking about He's it. He's had to cope with the shame of constantly re being reminded that he didn't have the belts. Oh, yeah? How many belts do you have now, Nick? Still more than you. Yeah, and the guy that's never won a belt beat both of you. That's fair. Jay tried some high flying fancy moves on the outside. Dylan counters, though. Oh, now bouncing him off the barricade. 
Ouch, that's solid steel. That's got to hurt. Solid steel covered by a little bit of fabric. Fabric. Yeah, there's yep. no padding on that barricade. That is Not that at is all. Painful. I made that intentional for this ring in specific. Ouch. All right. Dylan, toss back in the ring at a count of seven, followed by Jay. I was going to laugh if Cameron hopped off and just punched him and went by count out. All right, now it's time for Claude to get tagged in. Money's up. Claude bite somebody. <laughs> Probably. Right? That's a safe bet. Tag team maneuver. Incoming. Yep, oh, Dylan trying Claude back to the uh, his uh, friendly corner. Finger nibbler. Now, it looks like he might be going for a tag himself to get his brother in there. What's this guy's name again, Ian? Uh, good old dick punch Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh. Ooh, nice solid Brand drop pick there Brand by Brand Cameron. Does not sponsor dick punch. I tried. It's not in the contract. Ian, you do realize before Elliot, before Cameron, you were a heel, right? And you also did dick punches? Yeah, but yeah. we rarely saw him do it. Yeah. Exactly. And now I work for Brand Name Brand Brand. <laughs> I, I don't I don't dick punch anymore. It's not family quick. Talking about Ooh, it though is a public service announcement. Yeah. Nice uh front face lock there by Cameron on Claude. Claude able to fight out of it though. And immediately gets hit by a solid arm drag. Claude says no you. Is there another arm Ooh. drag? Ooh. Nope. The wrist is bent backwards, the shoulder is twisted, and the elbow is in, is uh, basically... Uh, turned inside out. Yeah, yeah, turned inside out, as then he stomped on it. Youch. That's a, yeah, that's a technical wrestling move. I've never seen one. Followed up swiftly <laughs> by a jawbreaker. In Here's the, the tag team maneuver. Bounce off the ropes. Ooh, double elbows, followed by a senton and an elbow drop. So not only did he just get two elbows to the face. Claude able to jump through Dylan's legs and grab Jay for the quick tag. Not only now, did he just get a, elbow to, a double elbow to the face, someone dropped their knuckles on his forehead and rolled him over pretty much. Ooh. And Ooh. first right to the turnbuckle, Jay trying to chop the big guy down with the spinning heel kick. Dylan, though, still standing. Yeah, it. It's the fact that comparatively the weight class between these yeah. two is big. She is technically a cruiserweight, I think, and yeah, a little light heavyweight. Nice uh, assisted elbow or assisted knee drop there. Oh, there's the disrespectful combo. Yeah, Dylan counts as a regular heavyweight. I think Nick and Jason are the only two super heavyweights. And yeah. then I think no, I'm. Ian. Um, uh, you're right. Ian, Ian and uh, Grand Fat Wizard are also super heavyweights That's as well. That's right. I think I'm the only one that fall. I'm one of the few that falls into the light heavyweight category. Uh, you, my brother. Uh oh, what's this, guys? The worst thing imaginable. I honestly think. Move in the biz. In my own personal opinion, the best move in the biz: the caterpillar elbow drop. It's me, like it's me and my incarnations, Cameron and who else? Um. I think that's about it. No, honestly. I think Chris is actually uh. Chris is heavy enough to be a, uh... Light heavyweight? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Dylan accidentally punching Cameron in the mouth. That wouldn't be the first time. Oh, Cameron, though, still going after Claude. And a... Oh, jawbreaker there by Jay. The Ooh. ref less Pop than pleased. Pop-up dropkick there by Jay sends Dylan to the mat. One dropkick. Spinning neck breaker. Ooh, uh -oh. Dylan may want to tag in Cameron here. I don't think he will get a chance. It looks like Jay's setting up for the four. Oh, Dylan <laughs> with the kip up. Oh, was trying to get Jay, and Jay and uh, Jay unfortunately tumbles to the mat, missing a cross body. I forgot to get my cup of coffee. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what's the same here, actually. I just realized that. Going for the pin. Look out at two. Jay's not done yet. Now, not if that yet. had been Claude, Claude's been dealt enough damage that might have been the game ender. Oh, going for a hot tag, but it looks like uh, Dylan intercepts. Jay, though, with a nice uh, knee strike counter. Has a chance to make it to his corner if he wants to. Looks like he's planning on putting a little bit of hurt on uh, Dylan. Ooh. Bringing Dylan back. To oh, Dylan with a fireman's carry counter. Ooh, back elbow. Dylan takes down Jay. Goes right after the arm. Probably a good thing to do for somebody that's doing springboard or high flying. Yep. Dylan's got him up in a fireman's carry. Hanging him out to dry. Hanging, Hanging him out to, out to dry. dry. Just like some dirty laundry. All right. Whip back into friendly territory. Big Ooh. Irish whip. Big shoulder tack. Clothesline tackle there. I was gonna say Oops. that was not a that was not a shoulder tackle. No, I yep, I almost called the wrong one. Oh, Dylan with the mandible claw. Doesn't Going work. right. Not wearing a mask. Really does it. Physics, they mean nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, Jay with a kick to the kidneys. Physics means nothing in this game. Another Irish whip into the corner. Oh, it's going to go for a move there, but uh, Jay counters. Another Irish whip. Back to friendly territory for Jay. Oh, there's a tag. Oh, super kicks in stereo. Ew, you just that's, uh, that's what we call a bell ringer. Yeah. Another to, Irish oh. whip. Bounced off the turnbuckle. One misses with the, uh, well, I can only assume it's a trying to attempt a bulldog. Was it attempted bulldog or attempted full body tackle? That one looked weird. No idea, but it looks like, oh, wait a minute. The brothers are going. Twist of fate. And oh, following it up. Here comes the swanton. Swanton bomb. Cameron with the cover. Oh, Dylan down to a knee, though. Nice and there's man. Jay! If the ref had been paying attention, it would have been over. Dylan, get Jay out of there. The belly to belly to Jay. Dylan, Dylan you look tired. Taking a little tired, a little damaged. Big uh, European uppercut. Yep. Followed by a couple of sharp elbows. Ooh, hammer throw into the corner. And a backbreaker. Ooh. Ooh, claw now. Ooh, Whoa. twisting the wrist again. Oh, and headbutts the hands. Wrist is not supposed to bend that way. Norris is supposed to take three headbutts. Uh oh, Claude's got Cameron in the guillotine. Guillotine choke. Is Cameron gonna tap? Tony, you're in the way. I can't see. Nope. Cameron finding his way out of it. Ooh, that still has to hurt, though. In an inverted Russian leg sweep. That's to use Cameron, uh, uh, that's the move Cameron used to bust open Dr. Eddie. Yes, it is. Claude Ooh, catches nice, the counter. Nice uh, counter clothesline there by Claude. Stomping away at Cameron's arms. Ooh, European uppercut by Cameron. Oh, trying to set him up. Spinning neck breaker. Jay now waking up from outside the um, from the outside of the ring. Dylan looks really tired. Sorry, Kyle. What were you saying? I was talking no, over. I was just saying from outside the ring. I was trying to help you out there. Well, 
Russian leg sweep, quads on the ground. Tag yeah. was made to Dylan. Let's tag in the exhausted one. Dylan looks like he's gonna hype himself up first before calling yeah. for Claude to get up. There. Claude, unable to get up under his own power, has to be dragged to his feet. Ooh, solid elbow strike there. Followed up by a second one. Ducks the, tucks the clothesline. Bind Buster! Ooh. I are the aeroplane. <laughs> Watts in the corner. Ooh! Butt bomb. Butt bomb in the corner. Booty bump for uh, victory, uh, potentially? Oh, oh, and there's the disrespectful combo. Yep. Claude looks to be out cold. But instead of pressing the event, back elbow. I think Dylan's saying it's time for Claude to retire. There's the tag. Dylan's got Claude up. Try this again. Oh, springboard uh, splash. Cameron going up. Oh, double stop. Oh, ow. Claude's not going to be eating solid food for a little while. Oh, and a space splash. Dylan, however, looks very exhausted over there on the corner. And his oh. hand appears to be doing black magic to phase in and out of reality. No, Nick, I just, uh, I gained the ability to phase. Don't worry about it. Ooh, Claude kicks out at two. Dylan taking out Jay before he can bring <laughs> up the pin. For no reason. <laughs> Jay is once again wisely rolling outside. Ooh, nice uh, arm wrench there by uh, Claude. Ooh. Gets Trading a fight blows. out. Irish whip to the, the corner. corner. Tag made to Dylan. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. The brothers have switched positions. Dylan going to the top rope. <laughs> Big man gonna fly with a swanton! I didn't even know you knew how to do that. Neither did I! Going in he for the pin! Does, he technically doesn't, but his brother knows the tag team move, so he has the chance to block it. And that's the end of it! That's the end of it. The Bagel Boys have won! I'm surprised Claude sat up so fast after that. Right? <laughs> Angry David beat his ass! <laughs> Whose ass do you want beat, David? He just wants to, he's just here for the violence, just like all yeah. of us. It doesn't Double. matter who wins, except for me. Damn I matter. Punch my girl one. Blood took multiple disrespectful combos, two swantons, at least four twists of fate, the caterpillar. Dude, I, he just came for the violence, okay. Now, Kyle, if you're going to say their actual team name, you're going to say it with emotion. Feel it. Like you got Fair punched enough. in the dick. And Fair don't enough. forget that. Well, they're Fair saying enough. it like you got punched, then you say, Dick punch, my goo. Uh, Angry David says, I came for, I just came for the violence. And, and it looks like Jed. In her promo, I wonder if she's going to call somebody out. Yeah, Probably you. Who, want, who wants to take the, uh, who wants to do the uh, voice? Nick, I swear to God, if you put on Gertrude. Okay, I was just about to press the button. <laughs> that is how much I know you, Nick. Don't you like my good. characters, though? I like your not characters. Really not when you give an old woman's voice to my character that's, I created. That's not an old woman's voice. I'll, I'll do the, uh, the, uh, the feminine again, just in case Kim's called out. Yeah, yeah. If Kim gets called out, uh, we'll have Ian do the voice. But if Kim doesn't get called out, Kim, do you want to be with her or do you want to be whoever she calls out? I'll talk winter. No, I meant I'll do winter because yeah, Ian's gonna be winter. What? Yeah. Yeah, Kim, you're gonna be the person she calls out. Let's see. All right, all right, bitches, calm talking? the fuck down. I'm gonna make my announcement now. She looks pissed. She always looks pissed. Fair enough. Now, Azika skips some of the dialogue again. 
There are a lot of things I plan on saying tonight, but unfortunately are all out of the window. Because my match didn't exactly go as planned. Not sure what to say it ha to that. It happens. However, I do need to say a couple of things to my opponent before I get the real reason I'm out here tonight. Try to go through it a little quick, ladies and gentlemen. Just yeah, because it disappears yeah, the it message once in a while. I can't just sit back, sit in the back and let the victory over me sink in. It's like a terrible rash that slowly spreads everybody. Itchy, gross, and ungainly. That's not something I plan to live with, which means it's time to make it go away. I don't think that's from your loss, sweetheart. I think that's an STD. Initiate. Oh. Initiate. <laughs> H. Right? I need you to walk down that aisle, get in the ring, and accept my challenge for a rematch. And no, this is not a request. It's going to happen. Believe me. I'm going to face you in the ring again, and I'm going to beat you. All I need is one word from you. Yes. This is calling up profiter. Listen, Probably. no means no, Winter. Yep. Yep. She is the new women's champion. Oh, that's a neat effect to it with her hair right there. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that was cool. different. I haven't seen that before. Must be a different lighting. All right, Kim, your turn. Because I'm not allowed to do Gertrude. That is not Jamie, Jonathan, for the last time. Get out of here, you fucking clown. Here we go. You better read it fast. Wait just a damn minute. You've got a lot of nerve coming out here with something that doesn't belong to you. That's right, I'm saying it. Just because everyone knows the truth and you're nothing but a dirty feet. A dirty feet. Oh no. It's doing the thing again. I think it might have it backwards. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Did it glitch and put him backwards? Seriously? I I hope you realize interrupting me means absolutely nothing yeah. over the WWE Universe. You see, these people wanted me to win the match because they like me. Yeah. No, maybe it's not them, backwards. You wouldn't do anything for anyone but yourself, and karma saw fit to punish you. Okay, yeah, it is backwards. Yeah, it's yeah. backwards. Uh-oh. We'll see what happens. Yep. That All right. title belongs to me. And it, bit, 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 bit. I skipped it on purpose. They're they're backwards. It's backwards, so we're just gonna go through this. Oh no! Here we go. This one's right. I'll give you all the credit in the world because you ended during your match. I didn't skip that. That Listen, just went you by. Bitch. You're a bitch. I hate you. <laughs> I'll fight you. Congrats. Please. I this don't feel WWE like talking to you anymore. It's fine. I'll happily go back to the rest of the rest of the evening. You'll never see me so again. So they're both asking for a rematch from each other. Who they think is the champion? If I leave, yeah. Grant me a rematch for the title. They both got hit in the head. The real champion the entire time was me. I'm going it's to like cloud to cloud you. communication. I think the concussion I gave you in our last match must be affecting your judgment. But who am I to argue? If you want a rematch, then a rematch is what you're going to get. I'm sorry to inform you that the result of the match is going to be me stomping your ass. <laughs> I want the entire WWE universe to know that I am filing a complaint with management as soon as I get to the back. Your so-called champion doesn't have the guts to defend her title yep. against it. Yeah, it's backwards again. They're both saying they're both talking the the challenger side. That's the thing. Oh, look at that! Oh, we're doing with a slap. Drop Ladies, roll time. Oh crap! Back backstage ball in the ring. Where where's security? Well, look, we don't have any room on the match card for another match. We already have our six. This is just these two beating the hell out of each other. Well, in a battle of ripped pants versus spandex, who will be the winner? <laughs> Everyone viewing, that's who's going to win. Everyone exactly. viewing. <laughs> Ooh. That was rough. What did you what did you say that was uh, scissor something something something? 
scissors take down that is a leg drop. Leg drop? That looked like a scissor kick to the skull. It's essentially it's a hybrid, so there's a way to do it. So there's a leg drop. That's like a springboard we use. Like you basically jump off their knee and come up like it's a guillotine. Gotcha. She could also call that an axe kick too, but she axe didn't kick. stand. Into Basically, the corner. Anything with a leg drop from like a big distance, and Kepler puts off like the top rope, you can call it a guillotine leg drop. Because there's also times where they'll like jump off and leg drop you on the uh, apron. That one is the guillotine as well. Um, I'm Winter, like very confused. Point. Yeah, but I don't know. Calisthenics. Boing. There we go. Oh, now they're breaking the ring. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. I didn't realize our top rope could stretch as far as it does. Well, it does. You gotta break yeah. him up, dude. Come on. Break him up, ref. Because here's the surprise for you. The ring rope is made out of bungee cord. Boing. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think Winter won that one. I'm surprised if the ring, if the, if the, if those are so, you know, elastic, that mm -hmm. Cameron hasn't, like, pulled it back and just shot someone in the testicles <laughs> with it. Jesus. No holds barred. The homeless versus the heel. That's the heel. And I need you guys to take over for a second. I gotta step away for a quick second. Be right back. All right. Don't don't, don't put that get that crap off the screen. I'll cut I was you. Turning off my video. I'm what down. Camera opener. <laughs> All right. Who you think's got this? Honestly, I gotta say, I gotta say, Elliot again. Really? You think so? I think he's going to do his typical heel stuff and, and, and get this. What about you, Kim? I'd say chips. Kyle? My money is on my homeless friend. Uh, just because you two won the raccoon fight last week doesn't mean that you're friends. Hey, you know what? More food for me. Hey, a hundred raccoons versus two homeless guys. I bet on the raccoons. Right? All right, no, Jed, if you're here, what about you? You would like to see Chips win, but, you know, it can go either way. All right, all right. What Now, what were you going to say, Kyle? I think it's funny because he stepped away, turned his camera off, and stepped away before being able to start the match. Yeah, that's true, so now we're just going to sit here. So we just, Yep, so now we just get to vamp for however long it takes him. It's called vamping, ladies and gentlemen. We do a good job at it here at uh, TTW. What is, no, what is vamping? Vamping? Wait, what's Brought vamping? Brought to you by brand name Brand Brand Straw. Brand. The suckiest. Mm, mm, no. <laughs> corporate sponsor. Yeah, you can't say that about a corporate sponsor. No, I mean the straw. Isn't that the moniker for the straw? No, no, that's a moniker for their vacuum. Uh oh. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh! Surprise! Ooh. That was Jason beautiful. Him off the stairs. You know, my my uh, 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 the the betting tables are closed. Doesn't matter what just happened. What the hell did I just come back to? <laughs> Jason <laughs> ambushed <laughs> Elliot. It was a complete just ambush. What? Oh, uh, chips? You okay, no, buddy? What just happened? I think Elliot kind of dick kicked him. Possibly. Ooh, bouncing story. him off the ropes and smashing him with an elbow. It, yeah, that definitely looked like he got uh he got sack tapped, and that's why he didn't get up. Ooh, ooh lion tamer. Jared, though, able to fight out of it. All leg strength there. Gotta this have good leg strength. Skip like that. Gotta have good leg strength if you're going to be uh, housing challenged. Oh, I just realized. Hey, Bug! Did you steal your mother's microphone? No. Her, her headset. 
No, he stole the microphone too. It's in his hand. He just can't figure out how to turn it on. <laughs> I see him trying to do it. It's yeah, it's muted, son. You're not gonna be able to unmute it. Good, good. Oh, you just imagine, Nixon. He is your kid. All we actually would be hearing is beep, 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 beep. just blurring out all oh, the swears. Oh, yeah. Bold of you to assume that my son swears at only ten. Bold of you to assume his son knows Morse code. Right? Okay. I yeah. I, actually, that was that was. That's clever. I'll give you that one. Yeah, that was that was pretty yeah. clever. I gotta give you props. And to answer your question, Nick, and to uh, answer your statement there, Nick, I don't know. I was able to attend in two languages. Ooh, yeah, well, Jared you're an immigrant. Of course yeah. uh, you were. Wow. 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 Nick. Why? <laughs> no, Nick, I'm just saying. About this. No, I'm just saying because he was an immigrant, he learned two languages. Of course, the first things you always learn are swear words in each language. Oh. Come on, guys, have more faith in me than that. Jesus, who am I, Dylan? Wow, okay, first off, ouch, second off, off. nice big knee strike there by Jaren, taking it to Elliot. Ooh, look at that combo with the leg sweep. Right. I didn't know the homeless got to watch Naruto. Look at all those moves. Right? <laughs> He's, uh, he's, he's definitely a fighting dreamer. Wow, that is... Believe it. Oh, but my I hate God. this entire stream. But, but Vegeta, I can't believe it. Oh, Elliot's got Jaren up and a spine buster. Ooh. And that was close to the edge. Not a lot of give, not a lot of bounce. It's his turn, Vegeta. Uh oh. Yep, it looks like Elliot's calling for an attitude adjustment on Jaren. And it connects. Goes for the pin. Kick out. Two and a half. Beating up on the housing challenge isn't nice. Unless they're crapping in your limo. Yeah. Oof. Talking about how Cloud did no such thing. Big fall away slam, and now Jaren looks like he sent up for his spear. That's simply the raccoons he invites to have conversations and dinner with. Oh, who counters with a DDT? Oh, I thought it connected for a second there. Now look at Elliot, though, getting riled up. Very angry about the Jason interaction earlier in this match. Oh, kick out at one. Yep. Jaren wisely rolls out. Elliot following him outside. Got him up. Uh oh. Face plant into the apron. Ow. That had to hurt. Oh, now Elliot trying to style a little bit. He ain't got none. Oh, tossed back into the ring. Oh! Elbow strike to the face. That's the third apron strike so far this match. Oh, Elliot's on the top row. Elbow drop. Ow. Hey, Elliot go to the top row? Very rarely. Very rarely. Kick out a two by Jaren. I thought that was going to be a match ender for a second. Yes, yeah, same. Ooh! Knee is straight to the face. Jaren is barely conscious, I think, at this point. But he's just still able to pull up an arm drag. And he's setting up for another spear. Hopefully this one connects. And it does! Ran right through him. Like beans through a goose. What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> that I was... Run that one by me again. Like beans that through a funny. goose. Yeah. I I was wondering how many people are confused with that one. I don't like that. Uh oh. Jaren setting up. Drift away. Sending Elliot down the uh uh Chicago River. And that's it. Chips that's has it. it. We do have to say a little bit of a uh, hand out there to Jason. I was going to say, one has to wonder if Jason may have played a part in that victory. It's definitely a uh, 
Hang on a second. Definitely, uh... Oh, I just realized I, uh... There we go. Sorry, my, uh, controller was not connected to the game there for a second, so I couldn't control it. Definitely a, a factor in Jason Popper. It was definitely a factor. Definitely gets the assist. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Jason now has, uh, has one, one assist in universe. Ashley oh. versus... Kim, Kim and, and Alyssa. Alyssa. Well, we well, just get to watch a one-sided ass whooping here. Child. This is this is like when you find Superman and you're like, hey, Superman, can you beat, you know... Batman and Robin? Can you beat this random bystander? Death battle. Is... Wait. What? Is, is, wait, does that make Kim Robin or Batman? Uh... Let, let's face it, Nick, I would like to point, point, pointing out the costumes real quick. Uh, Alyssa is definitely Batman for color scheme. Kim is Robin because of also color scheme. Hmm. Hmm. Does that make Ashley Polka Dot woman? Uh, no, I would say Joker still because except for the green hair, she does have the color scheme. Turkles. <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be a one-sided ass whooping. The folks at home are going to love this. Yeah, no yeah, kidding. The folks in the stands might have a little bit of blood on them going home. Make there's a, there's officially the a splash zone for this From match. Oak Park, Illinois, the innovator, Ashley. Yeah, what made Ashley decide to go ahead and come after... You know what? Alyssa and Kim. I understand you know the Kim part because she has the belt, but Alyssa too? Who has well, killed Alyssa, her in backstage matches repeatedly? To be fair, Alyssa is, I think, still up there for a number one contender opportunity. Speaking of which, that does remind me to do something after this show before we hop to the fight club. Probably looking yeah. to prove herself so that she can uh, that she can beat both a champ and a number one contender trying to prove that she deserves a shot at the Triple Crown Championship. Oh yeah, look, the redesigned belt. First, yep. From Raleigh, it's Carolina, rather shocking. The extreme hmm. underground women's the atmosphere champion. around it is electric. Damn it, you stole my joke, Ian. Champion. You gotta be quicker than that. Faster than lightning. Be... My jokes are all current, Nick. Some would say that uh, the crowd has been thunderstruck wow. by this. I'm getting pretty amped up. Mm. Uh, Not a lot of resistance from me on that one. Now and or later. Uh, very, Dave very little cool. resistance. You guys are going to get charged for all these jokes. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Go it's okay, I'm just paying off in my many jewels. Oh, wow. From Houston, Texas, the Psycho Angel. That was a rage, but I'll give you. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> that one was a reach. <laughs> that one was a reach, and you should feel bad. I think you it know strained my back reaching for that it. one. Do you know what's really sad now is that after hearing that, all I can think of is, hey, we could make a wrestler that's lightning themed named Jules. No. Uh, I mean, we could. Jules Watson. There is, is her name. Jules, no. Jules Vern. Vern, 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 Vern. There is no. Here we go. Get out the gate with a running bulldog. Ooh. Wow, that, uh, yeah, um, okay. <laughs> Just a, and a kick to make sure Ashley is still conscious. Ashley was pretty static after that one. Okay, we can stop with the puns. The belt's not on the screen anymore. One could even say that, Ooh, uh, springboard cross body by Ashley. Yeah, uh, you know what? That joke's not going to work. Too much resistance. Yeah. Oh, Party made hate you. Ah. Fired. You double dipped. I, I didn't make the first resistance joke. 
And there's only so many terms you can use before things get stale. Do you see a member of either of the chips on this match? You can't use a chip joke. I'm sorry, I thought things were gonna get a little crusty. Well, for God's sake. I'm going to destroy you. Be glad you are an admin, otherwise we would probably be muting you at this point, Nick. It's Jones alright, stream would still hear me. me. Yeah, I know. Stream. At least you guys you loved me. me before. Ooh, man. Alyssa just wrenching Ashley's neck. Yeah. Early pin by Alyssa. And she actually lets go herself. Huh. Maybe Alyssa thought of some more torture she wanted to inflict. Let's give it up for the ref here, ladies and gentlemen. He's a pretty good superconductor for this fight. Oh, actually, into the corner with a monkey flip. One of her signature moves. Ian, I hate you. At this point, I'm ignoring them. He stores a lot of energy, you know. I hate the man, not the brand. Can't hit our corporate sponsors. Nope. Corporate overlords, Ooh. I mean sponsors. That's a nice, uh, I think that's the chick kick there. Um, yeah. Ashley fighting out of it. Or, uh, Alyssa fighting out of it. Damn it, it's the second time I've done that. Ashley setting up. Snapmare! We have a lot of A names, by the way. Just gonna say that. Yeah, we do. We have almost eight members of with A. Alyssa out before even the first count. Wisely rolling out of the way. Irish whip into the corner. Uh-oh. A little bit of tag team action here. Oh. Up and over. Huge fall away slam. Good elbow strike before another Irish whip into the opposite corner. Oh, missed the shoulder tackle. Trips on her boot heels. I do that, though. Oh, a little bit of choke going on. Yep. Now just stomping away in the corner, going for another choke. Him up. Ooh, head scissor brain buster there. Goes for a pin, but actually able to get to the ropes for a break. I was going to say, uh, right on the rope break. Uh oh. Kim's waiting for Ashley to get up. What's it going to be? Kick to the stomach. DDT. Ooh, solid DDT. And then the cover. Kick out at two by Ashley. Ooh. Kim not done with her. Oh, but a counter by Ashley. Nice knee strike there. Solid strike. Ooh, and just hair tossing. And a nice hair toss there by Ashley. Dragging me all over the place, don't Ooh, kick to the face. Ouch. Dude. Stomping away at the champ's knees and head. Oh, Kim, though. Ooh, roll up. That's a roll up. Good roll up. Ah, oh, but a kick out of two. It still broke count? the momentum. The most devastating move in all sports entertainment. The surprise, surprise, the, roll the surprise roll up yet. Ashley on the outside. Kim coming out to, to meet her. Uh oh. Probably was a bad idea. Shin Buster! Or Shin Breaker, sorry. I think this is the closest many of the people in the crowd have ever been to an actual woman. Nick, I don't think you should talk bad about w or, uh, wrestling audience members since you're going to be one in a couple of weeks. Difference is, I'm married. 
<laughs> yeah. That doesn't uh -oh. mean anything. Ooh, butterfly gut buster. Besides, the joke's a joke. Everybody gets it. Six. Let's oh, count six up to down. six. I almost would think Ashley would have wanted to uh, keep him keep him outside, so that way she could win by count out. No kidding. So she wouldn't have to deal with Alyssa again. Instead, shortens the count. Oh, hair toss into the corner. Ooh, hitting the turnbuckles on the way down. Painful. Ooh. Back elbow there by Ashley. Kim's up against the ropes. Alyssa not reaching for a tag, though. Irish whip. Ooh, a head scissors takedown. There's, there we go. Alyssa now reaching for a tag. Ashley, Kim, though, is, uh... Where am I going? I was going wrong way She it. looks to be tiring. Ooh. Snapmare by Ashley. Goes for the cover. And here comes Alyssa to break it up. Kim, though, able to kick out. Alyssa had her back. Guess I'm taking a nap for a second. Oh, really? Just kidding. Face rubbed into the mat. Ooh, this elbow ladies drop. and gentlemen, we know what's been on that mat. Hermit Bob, we oh. wash it afterwards. Oh, actually, not a wise decision there. Still able to land on top of Kim. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was different. That was weird. That was a bad corner to try that in. <laughs> right? I think Ashley's trying to figure out what the heck this Yeah, I think the game's like, why did I do that? <laughs> Ashley's like, what the hell? None of this makes sense. All right, come on. There we go. Ashley's just standing there. Why does my head feel funny? Right? Oh, Kim's got her. Leading her to a corner. I thought I was putting her for the DDP, but I guess not. Oh, Kim's got her down. Going up. Oh, whipped into the ropes. Ouch. Chest first into the bottom rope. Good Lord. Full momentum. Be smart about this, bringing Alyssa. Yep. Yep, here comes Alyssa. Ashley bounced. And yes. Bounced hard. Right? That was a lot of bounce. I guess Alyssa's capitalizing. Kick out at one. Huh. I don't think that's going to last long. Ooh, not with knee strikes like that. No. Oh, here come the mounted, here come the mounted strikes, ground and pound. Elbows and fists across the face. And in the back of my head. You caught every single one of those. Oh, but actually though, bam, knee strike to the face. Pulling on a knee strike of her own. Now pounding Alyssa's head into the mat. Mmm. Oh, eye rake. Oh, followed by a counter on a knee strike. Irish into the corner. Into a monkey flip. Oh, that's got to hurt the back. Oh, here it comes. Ah, oh, that disrespect will step through. Went for a drop kick. Alyssa was out of the missed. way. Ooh! Spear! Spear by Alyssa. I thought the spear was going into uh, full cover there for a second. Almost. That devastating super kick. That, uh, that might be the end. <laughs> Oh, Ashley kicks out at two. No kidding. Survived Not the super kick. Yep. Kick her again, Alyssa. Oh, misses a kick. Oh, Ashley's got Alyssa up oh, into a backbreaker. Uh oh. 
think Ashley might be setting up for a punt. Ooh, right across the side of the head. Goes for the pin. That's not a lift and move. What am I doing? Kick out at two. Little bit of assist from Kim. Oh, looked like you weren't sure if you wanted help there for a second. Looks like Ashley might be getting a little bit of a comeback here. Lissa trying to make it to Kim, and she does. Ooh. Kim with a Kim with a takedown on it, Ashley. And another close line. Wow. And another takedown. Holy crap. Just crossbody mm -hmm. after crossbody. What was that, Kyle? Said it's amazing what you can do when you get the hot tag. Uh oh. DDT time. DDT and top of the head. Oh. Mike DDT. There it is. Kim and Alyssa have defeated Ashley. Oh man, that was a good one. For a that second, a it looked one. like uh, it looked like anybody could win there for a while, actually. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I'm skipping the replays, guys. Here are your winners: the assassin Kimberly, the psycho angel, and and and. and? Our announcer got confused. New... Do I see a forming of a new faction? Uh, potentially, but uh, yeah. I think we need to check our uh, announcer's room there for yeah. some, you know, a little bit because that was weird. Ian, I see you got a note there. Is that from the network? Uh, no, it's from the brand. Um, oh, no. They say electrical joke here. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Not my brand of humor. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. If I was not running Good this setup. game right now, if setup. this was not my stream, I would quit right now. Right? It was, you gotta give him credit, though. That was good setup. No, he's got all the credit. He got. He gets all the credit. I still would have. I would have left oh this call God. after that joke if I wasn't running this thing. That's okay, folks. I'll take care of this. Please don't actually boot me in, because then I have to reset everything, and we will actually lose the stream. So, Nick versus Deertan for the main event. Oh, look, another tiny baby man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean he had to leave. <laughs> I leave. Hey, Nick now sporting the other new belts. Making his way to the ring. From My Chicago, belt. Illinois. Oh, wait, the, the strap is wrong, though. 390 pounds. Wait, what do you mean the strap is wrong? It's supposed to be the camo. It's uh, just a Oh, yeah, what strap. the hell happened? I don't know. That's weird. Because this was the uh, former boot camp belt, correct? Yes. Yeah, this is the Victory Tower belt. Also, right. Ian says, to exile I go. All right. What Ian, that? get back in the call, you jack. You jack. I can't even say it because I get, didn't Get back in the lot. call, you dingus. So actually, though, I think this is the last match of the stream, isn't it? Because, uh, yeah, it's almost no, it's 8 o'clock. 8.30. 8.30 is our, would be our cutoff time, because we start at 4.30. And his opponent, so we started late today. We were almost starting at 5. So I think we have enough time to at least oh. get through this. 4.45. Yeah. Because it, it took get... me a couple minutes to get the stuff set back up. Yeah. We can probably do this. We'll see how fast Fight Club goes, and we'll probably not get through TTW tonight, so. That's all right. It started off uh, real strong. Yeah. Look at the little elf thinking he could step up to me. Here, 
big amount of action at the pay-per-view, so now he's coming after Nick on a just a normal show. Yeah. Can't take his belt, loser. Somebody <laughs> already has it. Oh God, Nick already starting off brutalizing body parts. Near though, able to fight out of it. Nick might still be tired from his pay-per-view wrestling match. Not that tired. No, not that tired as we see what's <laughs> happening to Nier right now. Jeez Louise. Okay. Fireman's carry. Oh, Nier though, reverses it into a DDT. Wow, Nick actually got some air time off that one. It's all about momentum. Misses wildly with a kick. Oh, and a... Oh, near though, fighting back. Oh, nice try to go for an uppercut there. And backbreaker from Nick. <laughs> no. No, you tiny baby man. Oh. Oh, crossbody. Near says, no, you tiny baby man. Near trying to act like a badass, but I uh, just not get run so over well. by a bowl cut. Oh no! Oh, dragon screw toss there by Nick. Run over by a man with a candle. Nope, that's a uh, Nin. This is Near. You got run over by a man with clown shoes. I mean, Nin, Near, they're both nineties. Super Irish whip. Oh, and a spinning back elbow. Nick, trying to figure out the best way to punish the tiny elf boy. Oh, there are many ways. Nick is very familiar with, uh, with punishing tiny elf boy. Oh, there we go. Ah, in nomine patres et fili et spiritu sancti. I'm waiting for the day that somebody just slips out of your grip. And you go, wait, what? That'd be funny. That would be the worst counter. Let's see if the tiny elf can survive more than one. Apparently not. Nick taking this time to showboat. I'm still the best still... in the biz. Oh, near though, catches the kick. And his own dragon screw toss. Oh. The hell was that? I actually don't know, Kyle. That one is a variant on the, the inverted le Russian leg sweep. Ah. It's like a small package of version. Gotcha. Near now attacking the hamstrings and the leg and the knee of Nick, one of Nick's weak points. I don't, but I don't do high flying. Uh oh, yeah, well, Near's going up. The legs can still be. Oh, he. <laughs> what it, the? What? <laughs> Uh, he got the hit, but I guess he bounced off of you and landed on the outside of the ring. Uh, and the, to answer your, but I don't do high flying, it's also a pretty common weak point on most big men because you don't chop a redwood down from the top, do you? That's true. <laughs> Plus, think of all that extra pressure as you try to do your, uh, crucifix powerbomb. And the leg sweep. you might give out. Although Nier gets taken down with a tackle. Kick out at two and a half. Yeah. It because, hurt. It takes a minute to get like all 400 pounds off of him. Yeah, well. Stop showboating and push him. God. Gotta, gotta make it a good show for the fans. Nice sidewalk slam there. Nick just dragging near across the mat. Into a snapmare. That's a whole lot of weight on the neck at a very oh, rapid kick to pace. The face. Nick dazed. Near. Uh, oh, Nick's on the mid. Oh, Nick's on the Damn. middle rope. What's he doing? Oh, double axe handles oh. from the middle rope. That's the uh, bringing the hammer down. That's the hammer of dawn right there. Irish whip. Ooh, clothesline by near. Oh. He's going up to the top rope. Will Nick move? 
Setting up. Course screw shooting star press. Press. Yeah. Kick out at two by Nick. Nick is not done yet. Nope. Deer's putting up a good fight, though, at least. I think that's just a shooting star press, not the crazy one he does. If you really want to give him a crazy one, you should give him near the starship pain. Oh, Here God. I thought about it. I would. Leg drop. Close line. Oh, it froze on Another my Another close line. And a heel kick. I, I didn't see most of it. Oh, shit, yeah, I see the stream is part third. Lagging on your end. Shit. And another combo then there by Nier. Pulling out all the stops. Holy crap. Nier just beat Nick. The giant has fallen. Look at Nick, you can't... I'm gonna that. call bullshit on that one. <laughs> I think you might just be a little bit, uh, distraught, Nick. After losing your belt last night to your father. I don't... No. Nick, you lost to a tiny baby man. Nick, you lost to Nier. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, creator bias. Yep. What was that? Creator bias. I have no control over this game! Here. I'm right here. Here's not your character. Yeah? Yes! No. no. Also, I, also, I just realized my camera is lagging. Let me check my computer real quick. Oh yeah, it's warm, run a little Sorry, warm I think Nier and Min confused quite a bit. Yes, you do. Well, Here I mean, winner, I it's clearly win. derivative, Let so. that tiny little yapper dog beat you. Like I said, creator bias. At least, <laughs> Nick, at least it wasn't Claude, right? Creator bias. Yep. Creator bias. Okay, I know. really, after Get these... The power rankings. Real quick, I have to do one thing. What are we doing? I'd add the other host show to the next pay-per-view, sorry. No power rankings just yet. All right, so let's get this going and we'll go through the uh, match card here. But it looks like we're starting off with another tag team match between a couple of rivals. Oh. Yep, it's Nightmare Fuel versus K&H. Wait, there's a rivalry between the two that I missed? Those two have been rivals since the since we did the big rivalry ad. Ah, that's right. Yeah, remember when we had to add all those rivalries because the game wasn't, uh, was taking too long adding rivals? That's right, it wasn't creating any rivalries except for the one between Tori and I at the beginning. Yeah. We come to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada! Viva Las, Las Vegas. Vegas! No. Yes. Be gone, Elvis Impersonator. Listen, I have you a were good a singing bad idea in this. You were a bad idea in the 80s. And you're a worse idea than 2021. Here's a couple of good matches. We got a 2 on 2 tag match between Nightmare Fuel and K&H. A 1 on 1 Extreme Rules match between Kim and Celestana. A face only a mother and... could love. Ugh, fuck off. <laughs> and a 1 on 1 Last Man Standing match between Ashley and Mrs. Profiter. Here comes a rival we haven't seen in a while. Uh, mine and Celestana is a rivalry match, but not the one with the actual rivals. You know what? I'm not sure. The game is doing weird things. All right. Also, just so we have a little bit more time saving, I did turn off entrances. Hopefully that doesn't mess with these. It should. Oh, okay. Just so we have more time, because I know we're running we're running low, so I might turn off entrances. Unless we have a new character entering. Because there there's like, I think, three characters that have not debuted yet in you. No, I think right now there aren't any new characters on the docket for this one, but I think after this no, we probably will have to end it. No, I have three characters that have yet to debut. No, I meant on, on the docket for this show. Oh, oh this show? No. No, no, no. I'm wondering if they'll show up on TTW. Oh! oh. oh. Or Skinny jumped in the back by Nightmare Fuel! 
Now Kyle stepping in to save him. Uh oh, I don't think Horse is going to be able to wrestle. That's fine. I'll take on a handicap match. Uh oh. Or you're going to have to find yourself a new partner. Oh, but it doesn't look like it actually. It looks like you guys might still try. So I wasn't expecting the mugging. Minding his own business. Yeah, that's a new one. I've never seen that one yet. You know, it may have been a, a dirty... Guy, mine, mine his old business. Might have been a dirty thing to, to jump him in the back, but I think Horace and Kyle still got it. Well, let's uh, find out. Uh, we're going to find out if Eddie's in the driver's seat still or not. All right, so it's these two. Oh, but no Horace. Looks like Kyle might be going for a two-on-one handicap match oh. now with Well, they attacked Horace right in front of him. You think he's not going to beat the crap out of him? Oh, man, this is going to be good. Two-on-one handicap match. Kyle versus Nightmare Fuel. And oh. Kyle is pissed. Damn. Kyle wants the driver's seat back, I see. This is about more than the driver's seat. This is reminding me of personality. I was going to say, this is personal. You attacked his partner. You attacked his Horatio. Oh, and he's got Kyle in the mandible claw. Kyle started this match strong, but he's got to remember, it's two on one. He can't be exploding that hard. Out the gate. Yeah, but remember, Kyle's got endurance. He does. He is one of our tougher superstars. With all these guys. Uh oh, Dr. Ace got him up in the military press. Ooh, power slam. All these headbutts, Chop block there. <laughs> oh, Eddie turns it into a neck breaker. <laughs> or a jaw breaker, sorry. Yeah, they're all set to fast. It's the... I do that. It's no, the default at this point. No, the... She means the animations are going hyper fast. Oh, yeah, I don't... I just noticed that, too. And I'm having weird volume, too. Like, I'm yeah. hearing the crowd a lot more clear. Yeah, weird. something weird happened. Maybe turning off the entrance does that. Oh, wait a minute. It's a Oh, here comes Horace! He's... Back. Oh. Technically a DQ. <laughs> or is nope. it just telling him to get to the corner? <laughs> yeah, to get near corner. All right, now we got a real fight. It wasn't a real fight to start with? No, before it was just a mugging. I thought for sure we weren't going to see uh, Horace the rest of this night. Uh oh, Tingle's going up to the top rope. Eddie better get out of the way. There's the elbow drop. He uh, kind of kicked Eddie on the way down. A little bit. You ever, you ever see a battle royale? Eddie and Tickles do not get along, no. but they work well together. Oh, snap suplex into the announce table almost. I would prefer if these people stopped fighting directly in front of me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Get back in the ring. Get oh, away from us. Kyle was going for the hot tag. Looks like Tickles intercepted. Ooh, leg drop on the knee by Tickles. I still can't believe Tickles was one of the original characters I created for this universe. Ooh, pump handle power slam there. In the original Curly Toad Shoot character. Yep. He was the first. Tickles deciding what to do with this prey. Looks like Eddie wants a piece of Kyle. Is Tickle going to let him have a piece? Or is Tickle going to keep the whole cake to himself? Good, bro. Good. <laughs> God, I hope not. I'm a little disturbed that we just... Yeah, it looks Kyle like they're a little bit, uh... Confused. There we go. Oh. Big fun. Clothesline there by Kyle. He's in enemy territory right now. 
That's and you risky. can easily just reach out for a tag. Kyle now trying to drag Tickles away from his partner. Break his arm while he's at it. Yep. Oh, going for the uh, oh front face lock, but Tickles able to get that curly toe right on the rope to force a break. And it looks like Kyle's just gonna abuse him now. Going for the tag. We bring it. Trying to. Looks, so looks like, like it. Shooting. All right. Still showboating, and now Doctor Eddie's in. The Doctor is in. Get him, Horace. Looked like Horace was still going after Tickles there uh -oh. for a second. Follow-away slam there by Dr. Ed oh, and just wailing on him. Heavy rights to the face. Now just stomping away at his chest. Dr. Ed still working his way down uh, Horace's anatomy to deal as much damage as possible. Oh, I think he set up for that pump handle uh, gut buster. Ooh, but it's the power slam. There's a cover. Kick out at one. Uh-oh. The Dr. Eddie's setting up. Oh, it's going for the full Nelson. Stunner! Horatio just hit <laughs> Dr. Eddie with a stunner. Yeah, it got a big, yeah, it got a big boot response. Horace uh, rolling out for a second to catch his breath, coming back in. Immediately after Dr. Eddie, he goes Irish whip into a corner. What's going to happen end of next? friendly territory. Oh, Dr. Eddie didn't give him a chance to get the tag, though. Oh, fall away slam into the ropes, but Horace able to kip right back up. Dr. Eddie having a little bit of control over uh, Horace now. Went for a head, but caught an elbow. Good counter, solid counter. Going up. Ooh, nice head scissors takedown there. That was a, that was a solid move, solid move. Uh oh, I think Kyle's uh, the mugging from earlier. Kyle's starting to feel it. Uh -oh. As Tickles and Eddie go for a combo move. Ball away slam. Uh oh. Tickles has uh, Horace. Oh. Big uh -oh. power bomb. Buckle bomb. Ooh. Turn buckle right across the Trying spine. to go for that the hot tag. Wasn't able to. Got caught in the middle and now is on the wrong side of the ring. Tickles trying to work the arm. Horace though able to fight back. Very easily, and gets a quick, oh, oh punches oh, Eddie oh, off oh. the other side of the ring. <laughs> Ooh, Horace bounced off of the turnbuckle. Tickles not happy he punched his doctor in the face. That was that was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. I don't think we've seen that in the tag match before, where they just turn around and knock someone out. Yeah, they don't attack the partner for some reason. Nice to see you. Oh, pump handle power oh, slam. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hey, I Jack. Just... Hey, Jack. Good Ooh, to see you again. Scissors. Sorry, I got my... I put my microphone in a new position. It's kind of hard to see the stream chat now. Oh, Eddie again. Yeah, okay. Horace attacking Eddie. Oh, a double stomp to the chest. Welcome, Jack. Hope you are enjoying the TTW so far. Ooh, Tickles with a reversal off the Irish rip into a backbreaker. And look, there's Dr. Eddie again. Eddie's back. Uh-oh. Tickles. Oh, sunset flip. Dr. Eddie immediately goes after Kyle. But Horace able to kick out at two. Ooh. Uh-oh, going after the knees of the high-flying horse. Into the corner, enemy territory, another tag uh -oh. team maneuver. Assisted crossbody by Dr. Eddie. Uh-oh, 
I think the darker side of Dr. Eddie's starting to come out now. The brutal side. Morris still kicks out. That too. Kyle comes climbing back. Oh, Horace with a uh, dragon leg toss. Or dragon screw toss, sorry. Oh, sets up. Going for the 8-1-5. Oh, and Jack's asking, when's my debut match? Did uh, did he make a character with I you already? He, I don't believe so. Jack, uh, have I made a character with you yet? If so, I apologize oh, if I forgot. Breaking over there. I can't get to the top rope because his partner's in the way. Well, Jack, if you want to make a character, I'm actually going to be creating another character tonight after stream. So if you do want to, uh, message Nick and he'll get you into the chat later on. Yep. We, uh... We've got the uh, link to the Discord. It's still on the page there if you're not already in. Um, otherwise, once this stream is over, send a message directly to myself or Dylan, uh, Emo Crab or Sergeant Harris. And uh, actually, I don't think I'm Sergeant Harris on, on this Discord. I think I'm angry about fire. Yes, yeah, you're angry I'm, about fire on this Discord. So, Emo Crab or angry about fire. And... Uh, We'll we can get you set chat. up. Yeah, we can get you set up right after this match is over. Yeah. Well, not this match, but the stream. Or, well, this straight. Yeah, you know what I mean. Choke slam by Kyle. Even with the mugging, K and H able to pull out a victory over Nightmare Fuel. Awesome. Also, a nice wheelbarrow. Uh, Oh, well, that's a new. Here are your winners, the Giant Killer and the All-American Cruz. The Club. All right, let's get to the next match, which is Kim versus Celestana in an Extreme Rules match. Oh, this ought to be fun. Yep. Making sure just in case uh just in case Jack didn't hear because I know sometimes with all of us talking and with the matches going on, it's hard to hear. I typed it out for you. Uh, down yeah. there. Uh oh, here comes right. the mugging. Celestana already in the ring, ready for their match. Oh, there's Hildegard from behind, attacking our champ. And Celestana wants nothing to do with it. I don't know, judging by that smile, I think Celestana had everything to do with it. I think so too. It's almost like she knew it was going to happen. And it's an extreme rules match, there's no disqualification. So Celestan is just letting Hildegard uh, beat the crap out of Kim. I'm in trouble. Is the ref calling for security? What's going on? No, Celestan oh, just leaves the ring. Kim grabbing a ladder. I think the opponent has been changed from Celestan to Hildegard. Right? Yeah. Holy smokes. Is he trying to tell everybody to get out of the ring? He's calling for backup now. Uh oh, Hildegard, front of the hard cam. Oh, gut check. Yikes. Damn. It is just, this is just brutal. Yep, yeah, a brutal. Mugging. Yeah, this is a mugging on amongst rivals. Bounced off the apron, Ghost Kim. I feel like Celestana and Hildegard set this up. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that was a setup. Oh, that was a definite setup. And it looks like uh, Celestana might be on Kim's shit list now. I, it would be justifiably so after that. I'm going to be real oh, honest definitely. with you. Definitely. Didn't want to fight me herself, so she called out my rival. 
Oh boy, here comes one of our unfortunate longer matches, aside from an Iron Man match. Uh, last man standing match, or in this case, a last woman standing match. Final stream for, or final, not final stream, final match for the stream tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, we're getting too close to our cutoff time, and we will not be able to show our TTW show, but we will show the match card. Yep. Yes. We will Along start... with injuries and power ranking. Yep, and we yep. will start with the TTW show next week, which then, immediately following the TTW show, will be the big pay-per-view again. Ashley starting out strong, or uh, Mrs. Yeah, Crofter. Uh, Ashley versus Ashley. I, I mean, come on. Yeah, it's it's Profiter and Ashley at this point. That's how we're calling it. Nice Russian leg sweep there by Profiter. Ashley's coming off her. Uh... Oh yeah, her uh, loss on uh, Tuesday night. And Profiter is coming off of a big victory in the pay per view. Yeah. She is our new women's champion. Oh, man, just going for solid kicks on Ashley. And an arm drag by Ashley. And plus a kick of her own. And another. Oh! Arm breaker. Arm buster there. Oh, followed by a good old-fashioned gut kick. And now just... Try to pull that arm right out of the socket. Same arm she was targeting with that breaker. Right, right. Oh, went for a went for a uh, takedown, but got caught with a power bomb. Oops. <laughs> uh oh. Got her in the figure four lock. Oh. Ouch. Was, oh man. That was... Going after it again. Just go targeting the knees. The, the Proctor went after her again. Yeah. Absolutely less than ideal. Hard to stand if you can't use your knees. One, Magic seven. Magic eight. Mrs. Wadley, uh, Proctor Mrs. Wadley with a kick. Actually with an Irish whip into the ropes. Ah. Uh, clipped her with that drop kick. Didn't get a full connection though. Proctor now showing off her skills with some uh, vertical suplex. And the squats. By the way, ignore the Discord message. I'm putting it up there for uh, Jack and the other. Yeah, Jack and the others that are online in the Discord, if they want to uh, do character creation once we're done. I told them we gotcha. should be done here in about 20 to 25 minutes. Gotcha, gotcha. And then we'll move over to general chat because there, there's no special permissions. Everybody can talk. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to try and do it here, and that's. A pain in my neck. Hey, Ian, yeah. you good? Yeah, I just uh, got some weird text messages and I can take care. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Seven. Up at seven. Ooh. Oh. Actually showing off how uh, stretchy those ropes are. So. Oh! Oh. With her clothesline dumped to the outside. Y'all just hear the thump. Yeah. yeah. Just a dull thud on the outside, like, oops. What? Why'd she pick her up? Not sure. Even the ref's confused. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He has to get paid enough for this crap. Also, I, just we don't pay wear, the... I just wear the stripy shirt because they've been, they've been paying me for it. Wait. We were supposed to be paying the refs? Uh-oh. Oops. Oof. Let me tell you, payroll doesn't know about this. Is that is that why I got so many angry letters? Maybe. Jeez. Like the 
20 angry emails that I had to sort through for you. Mm. This is oh, why wait, people have been... that assistant in his office earlier? Uh, that's why people have been coming to my office and just been screaming randomly before leaving. So I, I thought it was like, you know, some like warrior uh, get yourself pumped before a match thing. I, I did think it was odd. It was the refs, but hey, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I think well, here's the where the limo pay came from. <laughs> here's the thing. If the refs had read their contracts... They would know that they only get paid for a match if they get injured in one. Well, Ooh, any match yeah. that Cameron's in, they've been paid for so far. And half the matches Dr. Reddy's been in. That too, yes. What were you going to no. say, Ian? Yeah, no, <laughs> Cameron <laughs> costs us a lot for refs. <laughs> e. Brand name, brand, brand will uh, pay the refs in a pizza party. As any good corporation does. <laughs> With a pizza party. Pizza party. Hey, at least we remember their birthdays. Most of the time. Um, if Dylan, I can remember Michael's their birthday was three days ago. Uh, I sent him a fruit basket. I sent him a fruit cake. Was it, it uh... I'm, I you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna make the joke. I just thought about. I was gonna say. I, I, gonna send, I send him a fake pair of Apple AirPods. So does that count as fruit? Mmm. Mmm. You bad owner. You like Paul Heyman after the check started to bounce. <laughs> yeah. Ashley is currently brutalizing oh, Mrs. Proctor. Kick. That may be the end of it. Sorry, I know we went away from match commentary there for a minute to do a bit, but we like our bits. I was keeping track. It was mostly them hitting once, and then they would fall down. He'd start counting. So yes. we didn't miss much. Uh, that's how last man standing tends to go. What? For Speak. every thousand bits we get here on the stream, I'll slap Dylan in the face. Wait, what? We're, we're not eligible for bits yet. We haven't hit affiliate. Well, then he has no reason to worry. <laughs> how many are we away from affiliate, Nick, again? It was four, right? Uh, no, no, we're still no. 18 away. Oh, okay. Or wait, can I count? Yeah, 18. 18 Smurf accounts. Don't. This is Don't a quick way to get your affiliate trouble. revoked. Don't worry. Brand name, brand, brand won't harm our brand. <laughs> oh, this match is dumping to the outside of the ring. Are the they going up the ramp? With... Possibly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, jawbreaker. Nice, uh, jawbreaker there by Ashley. And a bell clap. Look at this guy right here. This is just making his day. It's all right yeah. in front of him. He used to want to cat watch a cat fight in front row seats. Come Again, on. Again, the closest they've been to a woman in a long time. A woman. A woman. A woman. A w Did I say a woman? Yes, you yeah. know. That's all right. I'm not an English David, major. I'm a history major. David, if you're in the stream... Go ahead and clip that, please. Yes. <laughs> Either that or Jed's going to end up clipping it later. I'm not sure. Good thing I'm well, let's see what I have time oh, to do. Magic number eight again. Oh, Mrs. Ashley. Proctor going for some uh, showboat. Showboat. Oh, sidewalk, sidewalk suplex. Uh, as much fun as the last minute standing matches are, I think I might have to take them off the uh, match cards because they take too long. That's why we don't do the Iron Man matches anymore. Uh, that's why we never were supposed to do Iron Man matches, but I've got to switch that up. I think last man standing only shows up on this show specifically. Yeah, because it's Fight Club. We're supposed to be fighting until one of you guys get knocked out. Knocked out? Yeah. Ooh, Code Breaker by Ashley. You know, Dylan, you should probably uh, make a TTW Performance Center uh, voice chat in the Discord as well. Well, I should. I, may, I just made a chat for now because I haven't actually gotten around to making it. Oh. Wait. Ah, she got up. She got up. 
<laughs> what are you cheering for her to lose? I, I'm cheering for the match to end soon, so uh, we can at least get the title card in before we have to now, end the show. Now we really know why you didn't show up to their going away party on Saturday. I didn't know there was a party. Ashley invited you. No. Yeah. When, where, and Jay show me the Jason message. and Ashley both invited you in that group chat that they put you in with the rest of us. That what we've been group? talking about it for like two weeks. I'm not in the, any group chat with them. I messaged them individually saying I wasn't going to be able to make it, but that's a little bit dry for me most times. A little bit of shoving match. Ooh, running bulldog there by Profit. Maybe that's going to be the end of it. I mean, she went down face first. Hmm. Hmm. Phrasing. 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 I was just going to leave that alone. Magic number eight. eight. Oh. Magic number eight. Oh, going after the knees again. Ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. Especially you, Nick. Yeah, that that makes my that makes my legs hurt. Ooh, spinning neck breaker. Let's see, Magic Eight or Magic Nine. What are you calling, guys? I think nine. What do you think, Kyle? Probably gonna be eight, no one this one. Kim? Probably eight. Ian? I think this might be it. Jed? Eight. What's up? Never mind. It was nine, I was right. And there's the super kick. Oh and boy. I thought you heard that impact. Yeah. Now the momentum may have shifted yet again. I mean, th I think that was that's the uh, final nail in the coffin there. I think the match is over with. No, nope. up at nine. Gee whiz. Oh no. We're back into the loop of get hit once and start counting. Oh boy. Is this gonna be it? Six. I might need a cup of coffee. Eight. Is it the end of the wrestler? Oh. Yep, that's it. Ashley has one. Oof. So I Ashley was about to fall to her knee after that, after that, like, wobble. Is your winner on a losing streak. Yeah, a little bit. Well, no, that's not true. She just won the belt, so. Oh, uh, yeah, that is no, true. Not uh, Ashley, not Proctor. There's someone we haven't seen in a while. Trash yeah, Panda. Power rankings. Yeah, let's check the power rankings. Uh, still the same. They probably will not change until after Shane the pay per view. Second. Oh, yeah, Jamie and Jason. No, Jason was three, anyways. No, Something Jamie was up, three. So. Eh. All right, now we'll go to check out some news real quick. Some rivalry news. Lots of rivalry news. Hey. Uh, you were Kimberly injured again. <laughs> oh, and Claude was actually critically injured. I knew I saw something. Yeah, he got uh, injured on Monday night, or Tuesday night, because he was fine at the pay-per-view. He got injured in that tag team match against the Bagel Boys. Oh I no! My brother, that he uh, he lost his match, and his response was, "I hope he didn't dirty my royal cape." <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> right, wow. Rai is worrying about the important things. Wait a minute. Where is he? He's usually in the chat by now. I don't know. Huh. Well, well, already. That is unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately, the stream is going to have to end before we can get to TTW tonight. So let's check the card for next week. Yep. 
we have right. another rivalry match between these two. They're still going at it, I guess. Then we got a fatal four-way tables match with Celestana, oh. Ana, Amaya, and Hildegard. Oh, that's that's going to be glorious. Two-on-two -two tornado tag match between uh, big old boys and spoilers. I'm ready for some vengeance, old dick punch Magoo. Another fatal four-way table match between Winter, Briar Blackthorn, yeah. Kim, and Alyssa. Oh, man. A six-man oh, TLC tag match. Good God, how many of these damn things are we going to have? Oh, versus Hermit Bob, Jason, and Elliot. Which, that's a weird team, actually. I don't know why that happened. Yeah, that's weird. And the main event, Panda Basuda versus Nick in a one-on-one -on -one match. Why? Go away, Trash and Panda. Wait, Nick, here's the other two. It's a rivalry match. How? We're not rivals. What? Uh, but you, you both, both have, have an R, right? And you're both rivals. Wait, since when? The game must How? have just built this rivalry on its own. Because... Apparently. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Wait, actually, let's check that out. Uh, what? Yeah. It did. It built it did. this it rivalry on its fight. own. <laughs> awesome. But that's good. That's last good. Time you fought Panda. How are you a rival? Uh, his first match he ever did was me squishing him. Yep. Yeah, so next week, depending on how fast these two go, we oh, will Lord. try to yeah, we'll try to see if we can get another uh four shows, maybe even five uh, next week if one goes fast. If not next week we should try starting a little earlier or going a little longer. I think we start at four and go to nine, we should be fine if we want to try to get a five full shows. Five hour routine. Yeah, do the the five hour routines. So we get all five shows. Each show should take an hour. I don't know why the last well the last pay per view we did a lot of talking, so that makes sense. Uh, then it looks like it'll be a simple. Uh, the following week after or two weeks from now it'll be a simple three three uh show. Or next then two weeks. Then we have the next pay per view is going to be our money in the ba bank pay per view, aka dice grab bag. So we'll see how that goes. But anything else, I think that is everything. I think so, that probably is. Yep, I think it's time to wrap it up. All right, so that'll be all for us today on the TTW stream. Uh, just real quick about the schedule this week. Um, there may or may not be a show this Friday. Not entirely sure. Um, Saturday... Uh, is also up in the air because uh, these guys are going to be handling stream for uh, the upcoming week because I'm going to be away doing some uh, family related stuff but uh, otherwise the rest of this week tomorrow is going to be the uh, Total War stream with Kyle and I and then Thursday should still be seven days uh, keep checking if you're already in the discord check the discord uh, check the Facebook. Make sure you're also looking at the schedule here on Twitch. You know, like, follow, subscribe, do the whole nine yards. Uh, jump in the Discord and mess with us. We've we've already got David and a couple other people who are doing so. Yeah. Uh, and, and we appreciate you guys coming in there and mess with us. It's kind of fun. And when oh, we're yeah. not streaming, we are interacting with you guys in Discord. So yeah, exactly. By, Just by a all bunch means, of if you are actually and memes. yeah, if you are actually having fun, by all means. Hop in the Discord, join in on the chaos. We welcome it. Yeah. But otherwise, I think that's it for the show, isn't it? Right? Yeah, I believe that is it. We want to thank all from all of us at the TTW. We want to thank everyone for sticking around and watching the show tonight. Sorry we didn't get a full list. Our pay-per-view went a little long this week, but, I mean, honestly, it was a pretty good pay-per-view, in my opinion. Including brand name brand, right? Yep. Brand. Look at our brand and name brand announcer. We wish to thank Brand Named Brand Brand and Ian, their spokesperson, from jo for joining us and sponsoring us tonight. It's the quenchiest. Oh, God, I hate it. Brand Named <laughs> Brand Purple Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. All right. I think that's it. You all have a great night. We will see you for TTW this same time next week. Or these guys will see you. I won't. But still. Yeah. See you next time. Is he a bad person? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. He doesn't want to help me follow Bye. my dreams. Bye. Ah.